Hello, hey. everybody, <laughs> and welcome to the first episode of the the return of the comeback of the king of the prince of the ring. What? <laughs> Also known as Breakfast with Lazy Gaming Guys. Yes, Breakfast with Lazy Gaming Guys is back. Like thanks to our. Yeah, we haven't done this in a while. <laughs> <sighs> really? I didn't notice. <sighs> but we're back, and we're back with the thing that started it all E3. We're back, and we're yep. back with a vengeance. Not really. We, we There is no vengeance. Yeah, we, we kind of figured that E3 would be a perfect chance to bring the show back, thanks to our fantastic Patreons. Yay. Who supported us enough. To reach the goal of bringing the the show back, I mean, and... we, did kinda, we did kind of promise them. <laughs> yeah, that's why like we're thanking them for actually letting us reach that goal. Yeah, so that we can bring it back, and this was the perfect time to reach that goal and bring it back. Yeah, Jacques, get with it, God. <sighs> yeah, Jacques, Jacques's not thankful for your Patreon support. See, typical Jacques. But we've already established Jacques hates fun, so. Mm-hmm. Which will be more evident throughout the C3. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 anyway, let's just go ahead and get started so. with, let's just pull this band-aid off right now and get to the EA press conference. First game. It was shit. Not it was I, shush. First, the first game, game was- Star Wars Jedi, Jedi Fallen Order. I actually think it looks pretty good. Um, it probably won't be a day one purchase for me. I mean, but the dead game definitely looks pretty good. Be a purchase. Yeah, that Jack. game pretty looks pretty good. But let's talk about about like, hey, can we talk about this freaking broke man's goddamn treehouse for a second, though? <laughs> sure, we can talk about the fact that yes, it was broken up into was it six games? Um, that were half an hour segments. Hmm. And they yeah, go absolute garbage. Which okay. it seems good on paper. Um, it really does. Well, the Nintendo does it all the time. Yeah, but Nintendo also tries to give a lot see, more. You gotta remember, I mean, like, Nintendo also has a presentation. Hours, multiple days. And and Julie, that- you remember, Nintendo also has a presentation. That's the thing. They they don't just freaking oh here's a, um you know here's the treehouse. No, they have a presentation as well. So yeah, you know, the thing, you, you know, know, thing give, you know just, neglected to do. I don't run EA, okay. <laughs> I mean, yeah, cl- cl- clearly the person who does shouldn't. Like again, it looks good on paper, and I think if they refined it more, they could do something with it. You know, the battlefield uh, at an actual presentation. I mean, battle, I mean, battle, Star Wars battle. What's it called? Battle, battle, battlefront, battlefront, battlefront. I don't know. Star Wars battlefront. What? Battlefront game? What, the last one? No, the Star Yeah, what are they called? Star Wars Battlefront? The no, one Battle... that already came out before? The new one's Jedi Fallen Order. No, no, no. I'm talking about it looks better than those games. The ones that oh, came out before. Oh, yeah, it looks better than the Battlefront games. But okay, yeah, Battlefront. The one that reminds me of is uh, Force Unleashed. Looks a lot like Force Unleashed. I like that game, despite what other people <clears> say. <throat> yes, I enjoy both of them. Mm-hmm. But uh... Even though the plots got ridiculous and stupid, and then there was the Wii, and then there was, like, the Wii version that had a... um. <laughs> Battle mode where pretty much if you pick Dark Vader, you won. It's like picking Big Zam and Gundam and and uh Gundam Battle Assault Two. It's like that's the point of being anything when he can just stomp you to death. Anyway, moving on to a game I'm surprised Jacques didn't say anything about. Well, most likely because he fell out of it like all the other people I know who played that game. I'm glad I didn't jump in that stupid bandwagon. Apex Legends Season Two Battle Cry. Um, it exists. I meant I'm to go finish the so so I can see what updates they made to that, but I just couldn't be bothered with that fucking bullshit. It starts in a, it wow, starts the on the second. Wow, the person here that's supposed to actually care about it mm-hmm. didn't even care about it. Because mm-hmm. I skipped it because I was like, I'm not. It serves no purpose for me. It's I played it. Made. I didn't enjoy myself too much, so I kind of gave it up. I didn't kind of. Oh. I did give it up. I deleted it with prejudice. I deleted it off the PSN completely. It has no well. Yes, I have no um, backup data for it either. <laughs> I deleted it, the backup data off the cloud. Pick out the PlayStation cloud. Then I went on the. I hacked Sony servers and deleted the game off of their servers. Nah, it's still. I tried. It's but still there. This game. They got mad. They didn't want me to do it. Anyway, um, 
Okay, so the next game is Battlefield Five, Chapter Four, Defying the Odds. I don't remember this. <laughs> I looked at stuff about that. I don't remember anything about it. Um, the other game is F- is another FIFA twenty. Yeah, I don't do soccer games. And then there's uh, Madden. There's Madden. In general, Madden. I mean, it looks Madden looks like a good update to the previous Madden. If you want to know more about what happened with the Madden with the Madden one, you might have to go watch the Dead Channel Duo pre- coverage yes. of this. Um, they would be way more informed and way more interested, and you'll get a much better opinion. Mm-hmm. Because yeah, we're not going to spout out a bad opinion, but we're also not going to spout out a knowledgeable opinion either. No. And then there's <laughs> the Sims. And there's another expansion to the Sims, Living Island. Sims Four, if I was saying. The Sims is fun. I I bought Sims Four I'm, on PS Four. I have not. Because it was eight dollar. I was I've like, sure, this is going to be something really my life. relaxing to play. Uh, they're best on PC. Like, I recommend it. Like, they're fun, relaxing times. It's like Animal Crossing, except with live people instead of animals. And you don't have direct control over them. But they can also get married, have babies, use the toilet, take a shower. I like it when I kill them, the Grim Reaper showed up. Yep. You can put them in a pool and then take out the stairs leading into the pool and they just drown. <laughs> they can't get out of the wow. pool without the stairs? How sad. <laughs> it is nope. very sad. It's like, I, I did it all the time. You can get out of pools without stairs, you guys. You just lift yourself no, you up. can't. Okay, apparently no. the Sims are... Well, these are the same people who can't put out a, fi- who can't put well, out a basic fire people. without an extinguisher. Yeah, and they will also starve and shit themselves. And if you lock the door to the bathroom, so... <laughs> Yeah. It's like, you have an axe. You can just break the door down. It's not made of steel. Well, even then, like, if you don't tell them to go, they pretty much are like, eh, I don't know what to do, guys. Like, mm. Retarded. Anyway. Weird. Anyway, I guess that's all for the EA press conference that I had to mention. Okay, now for the... Whew, the, the big one. Now for the big one. Big one? Yes, the Xbox one. A oh, lot, a lot. Okay, so let's start with the fir- let's start with the big one that they announced, like practically first thing. Cyberpunk twenty seventy seven. That is actually not the first. Like there was like five things before that. I could have swore this was the first what? big thing. No, I'm pretty sure one. that was like the first thing they showed. Nope, I have it. My notes are in order. <laughs> okay, then why don't you <laughs> start it then? The first thing they showed was Outer Worlds. Oh, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I um, forgot about that one. Which, Outer Worlds isn't for me. Um, like, it doesn't look bad. It just doesn't look like my style of game. So, I didn't write a whole lot of details on that one. Then, uh, Bleeding Edge was the second one. Which looks like Overwatch. In my oh opinion. right, that. Oh yeah, yeah the Overwatch with melee, like, 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 but like, uh, with melee stuff. And the fat chick on wheels. Stuff. Fat chick on like, wheels. I mean, is it's hilarious. like, it's, a, it's a pretty much like, it's, it's a more focus on melee combat. I, uh, I'm serious. The yeah. fat chick on wheels look hilarious. I love it. <laughs> yeah, it was just strange. Strange. Uh, and then we actually got one of my favorites from this. Uh, Ori, the second Ori game. Oh my god, that looks so good. <laughs> I, you know, I Ori always looks like always look interesting to me. I just never got around to playing it. But I actually, uh, because I don't own Xbox One, probably, so that would be that would be a big. Like big I own Ori Blind Force One. I still haven't finished it yet. But it kind of reminds me of Dust. I'm looking forward to the sequel. Um, it kind of reminds me of Dust. The same vein. Huh? It's in the same vein. Yeah, like, it I thought it was made like by it. the same people who made Dust. No, no, oh. no. Honestly, just, I, 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 I'm telling you, listen. I love Dust. I really do. But like, compared to art styles, Julian, Dust look like look like they got they got them off of somebody off of Fur Affinity, or the very least, Demon Art. Well, yeah, <laughs> it's also the first game. So Dungeons is this next one that was shown. Oh, you mean Minecraft Diablo Minecraft? Uh, yeah. yeah, it's it's Diablo Minecraft, and I'm gonna pass because I'd rather yeah. just play Diablo. I want that. Like, and I'd rather just play Minecraft. I want. Wait, you want Diablo Minecraft? Yeah. Actually, there's a couple. Yeah. Of, there's a couple of Minecraft of Diablo looking games this year. 
Like yeah, I just saw I, them, honestly, like, I would rather just, just play Minecraft. They were not appealing to me. I can say that. I like the Although honestly, I would rather just play another game that's on this list, but that's later, so I can't see it. Talk about um it. so then we also had the Blair Witch project game. Uh that what that was supposed to fucking be? Yes. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, you know what, Scott? Scott, wait, wait. Why are we surprised? Of course, Jacques doesn't know what the Blair Witch lo- Blair Witch symbol looks it's like. Perfect. This boy has never I mean, seen I noticed, movies. I noticed that. I, I, I noticed that she was like like the the, the, the dude, the chick, or whoever was in like that position. Was in like the position that the chick was in at the end of the movie. But like, still, it was just like I I, I didn't. I was just, when I was working when I was watching freaking um, Microsoft, so I like I was half distracted. See, this is why I yeah, sat down again, and watched Jacques, it on its own. Yeah, Jacques didn't actually even notice one of the games he was supposedly excited for now, even though it was shown off at E3 mm. during this That's conference. It. Like I said, um, distracted by work. Next game, Scott. The next game was Cyberpunk 2077. Okay. That that one. Keanu Reeves. He's breathtaking. He is breathtaking. Yes. He is breathtaking. Along with some random guy from the audience. Who gets a fancy free copy because he, you know. Yeah, he, they he actually gave him a collector's edition of 2077. You know, why wasn't I there? I would have told Keanu Reeves he's breathtaking. Julian, Julian you're not breathtaking. Of course, Julian. Julian would have thrown his panties at the stage. Maybe. I don't own panties. You would have bought a pair. Yeah. <laughs> like you just see a pair of like boxers fly across the stage. It's like, <laughs> oh, Julian's there. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if glomping is illegal still. They made that illegal? Oh, yeah. You know, technically, you're not allowed to glomp like in conventions huh. anymore. It's the same. Sure. It's the same. It's in the same vein of why no one can carry yaoi pedals anymore. Yeah. Well, actually, the yeah, Yowie Paddle. Yeah. Well, the Yowie Paddle thing's a completely well, different Paddle. situation. But because of it, yeah. they stopped letting old convention habits die. They let them die in corners yeah. where they should have. Because glomping and randomly smacking people with paddles is stupid. Uh, I remember. I remember when I uh, got. Gl- it was. It was. It was not pleasant. Oh, Jacques, you were at the <laughs> tail end of all that by the time you got started was, going to conventions. No, it was yeah, at. It, really it was at, What was it? It was at um that Ow. one convention in. Uh, Austin. I don't think he went to went there with us actually. No, I didn't. Um, freaking like we were just standing in the hallway, and then like a bunch of girls just came glomping people down the hallway, and like first a like a, a cute girl glomped us, and then this huge chick came from behind us and blindsided us. Didn't see it coming. <laughs> oh, anyway, let's get back on topic. Other yeah. than the Keanu Reeves popping up in the thing, so it looks. Uh, <clears throat> the game looks good. Like. Mm-hmm. It's another one of those to me that's not a day one purchase, but definitely within the year, like definitely sometime. I need I need a little more be, details on it first before well, I decide well, well, if I want to buy it or not. I forget to buy it because they said because yeah. they mentioned you can pretty much cu- slowly customize your character as the game goes on, which okay that makes sense, but also like how is that te- how technically are we gonna do that? We're like are we just Cy- pretty much because clearly well, everybody has cybernetic enhancements so we're just adding yeah, cybernetic enhancements as we go on that randomly changes me from a male character to a female character for no particular reason besides I want it hey 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 man I mean, you might no. need to uh, it's called gender uh, reassignment and dress, dress up as a, huh? and it's a thing it's called gender reassignment it's yeah, a thing. Julian, hey but Julian you might need to dress up as a freaking I, um, and, I, and after I dress up as a woman more. like, like uh, I, yeah, you know it's like the character's like you know plot wise like you know what I decided to stay this way and then the people you know are like I'm just gonna make, we don't you know care I'm just gonna, make, I'm just, I'm, I'm just gonna you know what, make it straightforward I, you might I need to Final Fantasy 7 this thing Julian no I thought you were the gay Lorax and you spoke for the LGBT just because I speak for them doesn't mean I actually I, I, I you know sit here and I'm gonna advocate all this crap advocate them for freaking um a video game being like we're gonna be open we're gonna we you know you can be a chick with a robot Julian, dick it's like a, i don't Julian, care if uh, Julian, i don't want to be a chick with a robot dick <laughs> nothing nothing I mean, worse I than self-hating gay right, scott? if you want to be a chick with a robot dick scott that's good i don't <clears> have to i think that'll be funny shut up julian stop laughing i hear you over there <laughs> god stop talking to yourself during the podcast it's yeah, really no, creepy that's, that's it's my really roommate <laughs> Um, so then we have one of the interesting ones of br- digging back up to the past. 
<laughs> with battle toads. <laughs> like, uh, battle toads for me is gonna be a pass. Like I, I want. I that. never got into. The I so want that. that. I like it because it's. Ninja Turtles like, and of course I have to have everything that reminds me of Ninja Turtles. I have to experience at least once. I sad. mean, cool. Like, I think it's something that for the fans should exist. It's also, for me. multi, also it's multiplayer in that. It's like, like, oh, look how coordinated they are. They managed to freaking get out of the way at right time. No, no, plenty of when if I actually play that with two other people, someone is gonna slam it on the wall. Let's be real here. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, oh, you fucked it up. Oh, you fucked it up. Oh, you fucked it up. Oh, we're, it's game uh, over. It's Thanks a lot, like a asshole. Faithful, like, faithful recreation. Other than they did make the villainess uh, way less sexy and revealing than she was originally. Aw, that's a shame. Yeah, but that's what they had to do now. Because, don't worry, uh, don't worry. Social justice. Game. The, the the frogs still have their pets. You know, Jack, cause, oh yeah, that reminds me. Jack, the thing you were talking, the thing technically you're talking about, Jack, is social justice. Social justice stuff. Not You know, I could be part of a community, but still not care for it. Like how you don't like other black people. Yeah, I just outed your fat ass. Uh, I, don't, I don't hate other black people. Yes, you do! I, I, anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. But, uh, after that... I think this is around the time I just started writing down games I actually cared about. Oh, crap. <sighs> Did you? Uh, because they started doing, like, a bunch of, like, indie showcase stuff. Oh, the indie, oh, the indie was, showcase thing. We can, th which, that's fine. There's not a the, bunch the of them on there. The only thing from that that I want to really point out was RPG Time. RPG Time looks interesting. Which fantastic. Um, the best way to describe it is it looks like paper crafts and coloring books and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks RPG. interesting, but I still look super confused about what, how do I play this? I don't know, but I want it. <laughs> how like, do you play game? The art style just immediately was like, yes. The art style, yes, yes, the art style, style is, and it's fun. also, it's really busy. It's a, it's, it can be too busy sometimes. <laughs> It's like an activity book. Like, yes, like but, like, but it looks like, like a half-done activity book, and it looks super busy. I don't know. I, Maybe I like, need more I, I, details of this game before I can give it a actual reading. I want more details, but I'm pretty sure I'm going to be buying it anyway. Yeah, okay. Um, I can't remember well, any of the other games. So there's indie, so the so indie the games I just kind of toned out, I'm going to be honest. Yeah, the rest of the indie showcase, though, was kind of like nothing really stuck out, stood out to me. Maybe once we get more details about those games, something will st like stand out. But as far as right now, that was the only one that I was like, yes, that, that one. That game. Um, yeah. The next game that we're going to talk about, Psychonauts 2. Uh, and the fact that um, Double Fine is now a Microsoft game studio. Yeah, yeah that's the thing that I'm was still, that I wanted to talk about. That's prevalent I'm all over the freaking conference. I'm hoping that Psychonauts 2 will be on multi-platform just because the original Psychonauts was. Mm -hmm. And I would like to see, like, to be able to yeah, play on Microsoft. Yeah, it's kind of hard to tell, like, what's but, going on with that right now because like, Sony wasn't there. But like I said on the Discord with Spoon, if it's a Xbox exclusive, I have one. I'm not gonna lose sleep over it. It's just I'd prefer to play it on. Mm. Um. So, but I'm still happy that we're getting Psychonauts two, and like I'm still gonna play the hell out of Psychonauts two because it actually still looks really fun. It looks a lot like Psychonauts one. Okay. Um. So real quick, let's talk about. I want to talk about this Microsoft Game Studio thing that they kept plastic. They kept throwing in our faces the entire time, like a lot. It was type a, games. It's like, look, every, look, everybody. It's a Microsoft game studio. We introduced oh, it, and we're going to make sure that everyone knows about it now. I'm not saying that as a negative thing. It's just like, come on, you guys. We get it. Hmm. It's Microsoft game studios. You don't have to. Put, you're going to plaster it on there. It's like it's like the it's like when things do world premiere of this game. It's like, yeah, we're not going to assume it's only on Xbox, you guys. It's like 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 some of the other games on this thing on this list that clearly <laughs> aren't just for the Xbox. Well, yeah, um, Cyberpunk 2077, I'm pretty sure, is not Xbox exclusive. Oh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and a few Minecraft other... Minecraft Dungeons... Minecraft Dungeons is isn't. Because they, Nintendo showed it during theirs, uh, too. Ori... Well, Ori is, I believe, uh, Microsoft exclusive. So that means it's going to be on PC as well. Or it might be the Microsoft PC. Um, Blair Witch, I'm not sure. I don't know. I don't care. Battletoads is, I'm pretty sure... 
Like it, it's not... exclusive. That's okay, a, that's, a, that's all exclusive. Right. Um, and then we also have uh, uh hello. It's uh for I believe PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Okay. Um, Scott, I think you cut out. Scott, I think you cut out right there for a second. Okay, what about now? Am I better? Yes. You're going to have to repeat it now. Okay. <clears throat> but I think that it's... I don't know if it's for the Switch, but I think it is. Uh, but I know... I'm pretty confident it's for Xbox One and PS4. And PC. But... I'm looking for... I love the Lego Star Wars original six game. Oh, yeah. That, that's going to be awesome. <laughs> So the fact that they're adding in like the Force Awakens and Last Jedi and all that, like I'm looking forward to it so much. And they're remaking the old levels. Maybe they can fix that stupid bug that makes one of the levels from uh, one of I can't remember which one it is, but it's from the second second half of the original six game six six um the original six movies that there was a glitch where you couldn't beat a stage because you fucked up something. Oh right, now I remember. It's like this glitch where you go into one of those Lego cities where you just destroy shit and pick up studs and unfortunately one of those fucking stages breaks and if you like get one thing before the other it doesn't register that you have the ball and you'll like be like a hundred short because you didn't destroy one thing before you destroyed another which is dumb yeah but I'm very i mean opinionated. i'm sure they'll fix things like that mm -hmm. but it looks fun i'm really hyped for it okay. um Next is Dragon Ball Z, the Kakarot. Oh, you mean Dragon Ball Z Saga's the remastering? Yeah, it yeah. doesn't look it bad. Like... It... like I'm, <laughs> I'm cautiously optimistic. You sound like it. okay, Steven. No, this, Steven said, you know, Julian, you can say all this negative stuff you want about it, but you know you're gonna get it first thing. I'm like, Steven, you don't have to sit here and tell me what I'm gonna do with my Dragon Ball Z game game obsession. He's like, you know, it's a Dragon Ball Z game. We're going to eat it up anyway because we that's what we do. It's very sad. It's like we're wanting Dragon Ball Z to wow us every single time with every game it comes out with. And then every time we get every game, half of them disappoint. It's been a while since the Dragon Ball Z game disappointed me. I haven't been disappointed since Battle of Z. Ugh, Battle of Z. Fun, but I'm also waiting for more info on it. Okay, yeah, let's just let more come out for it. And go ahead, Scott, talk about that stupid picture you found online. Which I feel oh, still is oddly out of context. It's, it's not, though. It, it feels uh, out of so context. In order, in order to fish, Goku pulls a tail out, like his tail oh, out, God. and then just shoves it up his ass so that he can fish. Oh god! I mean, I Why? get that it's supposed to be reattaching it, but that doesn't make sense either. No, it, it doesn't. Makes more sense to be shoving it up his ass as like a little anal plug. No, it and makes more sense if he was pulling out, if he grew his tail out, pulled it off, and then used it to fish with his hands. But I, uh, I so didn't see the video did or the picture. Like, what did Goku ever just like grow his tail out for a second to do something? Well, it looks like an older, it looks like a um younger version of Goku in that thing. So, also, this comes to a theory that they might not start from Dragon Ball Z, and they might actually do a little bit of um Dragon Ball in it. He got his tail permanently removed when he was a child. Yeah. Eh. Like, that's why he's pulling it out, and he's shoving it up his ass. So and, then tail just, and, and, and when did just, like, Goku just, like, just rip off his tail? I don't Dragon know, Ball? Jacques. Why is it Gohan's tail Julian, randomly goes back excuses. when it's convenient? Is that not bad excuses? Somebody didn't think this through, and they need to, and they need to know that they made a stupid idea, stu uh, like a stupid mistake. Hey, hey, hey. You know how every, you know how, Jacques, have you noticed in every single freaking, um, almost all the beginning Dragon Ball Z movies of freaking, uh, that Gohan somehow had his tail when it was taken, even after the, the plot it was removed? I think so. I'm pretty sure they had that go all the way to place. Cooler. Cooler. After they fought what? Frieza. During Revenge the of Cooler, movie. he had his tail. The movies aren't canon. Still, his tail pops up when it's convenient. The movies aren't canon, though, so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah. You, know, you know what? Don't, you know what? It doesn't, it does matter. It does matter. Nope. It only matters because you're, it only matters to you because you're, you're wrong. Yeah, because Julian's trying to kink shame Goku for shoving a tail right? in a 
right? Julian of all people kink shaming. I'm not kink shaming him for put, for pulling I mean, a tail of his ass. It's like, what's the point of? Like it's like, it. why would? It's like, why would he put the fish? Why would he put the thing he's using the fish in his ass? What's the point? You could it's feel it. It's like, it's like, do you want the fish to? Con oh my god! Never mind. I'm, I'm done. I don't want to. No, no, no. Move on. 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 I already no. Shut up. Move on. <laughs> no, <laughs> shut up, move on. I know what I, I, I already like predicted I what to, I had to say. Please move on. I, like I have to explain this. You don't viewers. need to explain this to the viewers of how anal works. I I think they need to know. No, I mean, they Julian's don't. An expert, but he clearly doesn't want to uh, talk about it. I don't need to talk about what fucking I do on my extracurricular activities. Uh, we're talking about Goku's extracurricular activities, sir. <sighs> Yeah, not everything's about you, sir. Fishing. Jeez. Not because, everything's... see, the fish biting is just enough pressure. It just feels the best. I hate you both. I hate you both so much. Um. So the next game, Gears of War 5. Oh. Mm, oh, yeah. that, you mean that fucking weird-ass trailer with fucking, like, it looked like something out of some kind of schizo thing going on it's like ah, my face keeps changing into these other people blah, 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 blah. it's like this did not tell me shit about gears of war nope i don't even think was, people who played honestly, gears of war understand what the fuck um, is going on no, honestly, I was my say, issue it probably with... would make more sense if i had finished four but i haven't gotten to four yet so <sighs> but i'm still looking forward to it like i will still be buying it again that's not a day one purchase for me just because i still have to beat two three and four but I own two, three, and four, and I'm looking forward to beating them all. Only played multiplayer in like one and two, I think. That's it. Oh, I, I haven't really played multiplayer. Like I think I played multiplayer one a bit, but only the only I other just, thing I about Gears of War I've seen. Three. The only other thing about Gears of War I've seen, well, it's porn. Of course, it fits uh. your MO really well. <laughs> Yeah, it's got all the beefcakes, right, Julian? Yes, it does. Even the locusts. God, some of the locust stuff is weird. Jesus, Julian. Uh, what? What? Apparently, some of them give them. Some people give them multiple penises. Why? Because they can. Because Julian's like <laughs> yes. Yes. Anyway. He <laughs> like knuckles. Knuckles doesn't have multiple ones. They don't have any. Knuckles has multiple penises, Julian. Well, we don't need. Well, we don't care because it retracts. Stop. He's got a six-headed penis. No, it's he like doesn't. Hydra down there. No, he doesn't. Let's stop talking about that one, please. Let's not give the Sonic fandom more things to make. I mean, they pretty much already have. But, I know. Let's uh, not give them. Let's not give more of it. So the next thing is the thing that will consume my life for a bit. You're not playing uh, Final Fantasy XIV. Star Online too. Oh, oh no. <laughs> one also hell yes i was freaking out so much like when i, heard that I saw this and i me. was like yep, wait wait wait, yep. wait 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 my surprise surprised you or just the surprise that it came out jock the game came out okay me. thank god i'm about to say it's like jock i've been yeah, talking about fancy star like, for years fans have been demanding this for years and thank god that apparently Microsoft was listening, and Sega, ex, um, Sega finally freaking, and Sega finally um, let it happen. Because actually, um, I actually let me check again because I think I looked I it up, and I don't think it's I, it's controller. Microsoft. I don't think it's Microsoft exclusive, but I have to look it up again. Yeah, uh, from, it literally said in the trailer that it's coming by way of Xbox One to oh. the US. Mm. Now, whether that's a timed exclusive or not, it's another story. But I know that it's exclusive at least. Huh. Um. Which, as long as I get it, I'm perfectly happy. Are you? Like, are you really? I really am at this point. Like, <laughs> I just want to play it. Uh, yeah, like, me too. Yeah, I will always have my preferred system, but at the same time, like, I need this. If I get to play the games I want to play, I am happy. Yes, but I need this game. I need it. I want it. I want this. I watch the. I love fa the fantasy. I love Fantasy Star. The old games. The old games are kind of, bleh, but you know, it was interesting when it got to the 
um, the, the Sega Dreamcast, that game, those games were good to me because more I like the cyberpunky future stuff instead of the random fantasy world garbage that they had at the beginning. Um, I'm sorry, people who like the original Fantasy Star, you're wrong because some of that stuff was lame. Um, what else is there? Uh, of course, my the, it jumped me in with Fantasy Star Universe with all its anime type things going on. I like the F- PSO2 anime. That was nice until it pulled the it the game is real thing and uh, that was it's like it it made more. I liked yeah. it better when it was trying to be like a kid trying to manage stuff and then also fix his social problems fix social problems through the game. You know, it was like it was interesting interesting at first and then it's like no the game's real you know we gotta save the world yeah. blah 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 it's like okay way to go to ruin it if some say we are lost again in this lonely world scott please not right now not right now now here's one thing sega uh, what, I, what i'm gonna need you to do is re- uh, scott shush now sega what i need you to do is come out with downloadable versions of freaking uh for some of um Fast, all, all the Fantasy Star Universe games. The first one, the expansion, because they all had stories. And Victor's the Luminous is the hardest one to find. Oh, God, oh. is it? I'm so glad I have my, I found my copy at a freaking random random store. I found it. I don't even think... It wasn't even at GameStop. It was some random place. I can't even remember. Um, there was a copy at Megacon that was like $60. And then um, also the PSP game and both PSP the games. PSP game. The Which, second PSP the way, game is impossible to find. They were selling a copy at Megacon. Oh my god, Scott. Why didn't you I tell me about copy. that? Because uh, it was $140. Fuck that. <laughs> and I saw that and I was like, oh, it's Fast Star Universe or Portable 2. And I'm like, nope, nope, nope. Done. Star- I Actually, wait, I think what, the, even though I think the story of Fantasy Star Portable 2 has wait, nothing wait, to do with I, the rest I, of the Fast Star Universe games. Again? 140. Jesus. Jock, you think that's bad? You should check the price online. Like, that game is actually surprisingly expensive. It came out right before the PSP died. Yeah, it was right near the PSP's death. So. You thought, and everybody thought it was the city of Doom. Thought the city of Doom Decim that killed before it died. No. Did that cost that much? Huh? The handheld game that costs the most? That's why yes. I re the price again. Jesus. Chuck, what you need to understand is a lot of times games that come out near the end of a console's lifespan are some of the more expensive games just because they don't produce as many. Yeah, that's why I gotta get it hurry up and get my hands on a copy of Persona Q2 before it de- before suddenly yeah, all those copies uh, disappear. Persona Q2 is the final physical game for the 3DS. So... Yes, even and j- also it's one of the last big ones for Japan too. Yeah, Japan's getting a few minor games for the 3DS, and then that's it. Um, which reminds me, I've got to work on my Japanese 3DS collection at MetroCon, oh, because boy. those are going to start going up in price. Mm. But, uh, back on topic. It was never a topic. Tales of Arise. Yay! New Tales of Game, everybody! All that vague, confusing stuff in the beginning that no one understands what the fuck's going on except the random nope. reference to Utna in it. Yeah. I mean, I'm looking forward to it because it's a Tales of game. And the chick uses a rifle. We haven't had a character use a rifle in a Tales of game since that one Tales of game that no one likes. Which one was that again? Tales of Innocence. Yeah. It was so bad that no one that it never came to the states because no one wants it. Only the oh. only the diehardest of Tales game people want it. Of course, I so would you. pick it up if it if I could get a chance so to. You. But yep. to be honest, okay. that game sucks. Yeah, the story, no, the gameplay, gonna, everything's awful. He's not going to mention what game it. I did mention what it is. I just said what it was. I said Tales of Innocence. Oh, Innocence! I already yeah. own that. Tales of Innocence, you own, do you own the, P, is it the Vita version or the DS version? DS. Yeah, that's the reason, yeah, that version's even worse. I haven't played it yet. But yeah, I because, it. you know, at least the, <laughs> I bought it at, P, at least the Vita version pretty much uses the same Tales of Heart, uses the same engine from Tales of Hearts, so it makes it better, but only by so much. When the plot, the char- yeah. most of the characters well, in it are just like Isn't that also? I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that's also the one that had uh, two different. Yeah, you had the CG version, which had CG cutscenes. Oh no, that was Tales of Hearts that did that. 
Tales of okay. Innocence was, was saying, not the. Then you also have the animated version, which has animated cutscenes. Yeah, and everybody wants the animated version because no one wants the goddamn ugly CG ones. Because the CG characters look off, look Japanese, look have this weird off Japanese look to them, where it's like they're trying to make them anime looking, but they're also trying to make them still look like Japanese. It looks weird. And also because t- some tales of costumes look awfully horrendous and realistic looking CG. Jesus. Yeah, oh, they can. I can't. I can't even think about that. Ugh. No, Jacques, look it up. 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 Look yeah, it up. Yeah, if you see, because you'll see it, you'll be like, "This is wrong. This is off. It looks like people badly cosplaying." Yeah, my my only thing with Tales of Arise, like, I'm excited, but I also want more details. Me too. Because that trailer was very much like, hey, they, they, we're working on it. It kind of exists, and then that was it." Because like, I remember oh, the initial stuff for Tales of uh. Which game? What tale? Which tales of game was it that I did that I heard the initial premise for? And I'm like, this is stupid. Um, oh yeah, Tales of Zestiria. <laughs> the initial stuff from the Tales of Zestiria came before Tales of Zestiria came out made no goddamn sense, and I didn't like it. I started liking it. I, mean, I started liking it more and more as it went on, and then I actually played the game, and then I got bored because near the end the game just kind of just wait, which hit, tales screeched us to a fucking boring Zestaria. halt. Zestaria wasn't Zestaria the kind of the bore the one that's kind of boring. Yes, yes. when so then they made the they anime, which fixed all of the video game's problems. Well, duh. And if anybody they, asks me, it's like I want to get the tales of Zestaria. Like, Don't play the game; just course, watch the anime. <laughs> like, of course, you're not gonna sit there and like complain about the anime because the anime doesn't have to dungeon crawl. No, just, oh no, oh no, because crawl. freaking um the tales of Symphonia like, anime is not that great compared to the game at all. And neither was, um, I didn't like the Tales of Eternia Jesus. anime compared to the video game. And the less said about the Tales of Fantasia movie, the better. I own that. I own that too. And it was boring. <laughs> I fell asleep watching it the first time I tried, the first time I, I watched it. I own the uh, entire Tales of the Abyss. The Tales of the Abyss anime, it was good. It was a good adaptation of what happened without all the dungeon crawling. Uh, Tales of Symphonia f- drops in like some of the first in like the first like part of it. The second half gets better when they actually turn it into an actual anime instead of releasing it as as like OVA pieces. It got a lot better. Um, that but at the beginning the Tales of Symphonia anime could have it just no it was it was bad it was, it was stupid. Um, the animation wasn't that great for how long it took for it to come out. So before we get to the last thing of the Microsoft one, let's go ahead and mention the new From Software game that Jock. Ignored when it was, <laughs> even though he's a fan of from software games. Hey, okay. again, like I said, I was at work. Even though I still haven't seen him go out and get the um, Dark Souls collection yet. It's true, but yeah, Elden Rings, Jock opinions. Um, I need to see more. I'm interested because it's like you know, um, uh, what's his name? J.J.R. Martin. This is that name? fuck. Yeah, yeah, George yeah, that, R. R. That, 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 that. Martin. George R. R. Martin. Yeah, yeah he's um. No, he's... Julian. His name is Fat Fuck. Okay. <laughs> anyway, so um, yeah, like it, it's interesting because he says he's working on it and he he writes interesting. Since stories. he's working on it, the game will never be released. Yep. It's okay, gonna, okay, no, 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 okay. no, no. It's gonna be released in episodic pieces, and they're gonna come out within and four so, years of each other. This is and he'll put out the more. first two, and then he'll stop. Yes. And just never finish. And then he'll just and then he'll just unzip his pants and wave his dick at you. Yep. Oh my god! I just realized this game is probably gonna have so much fucking dick. <laughs> Jesus <laughs> Christ! Wiener, <laughs> wiener, 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 puppy wiener, wiener party, and nice and soft, oh, non erect wieners. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Jacques, have fun with your Elden penis. Hmm. Oh God. Oh God. Ugh. Ugh. They have giants in that series. Wait. They have giants in that series. <laughs> <laughs> I might need to buy this game after all. I might need to buy this game. Oh, it's like, mm, look at him hanging. Look at him flopping. It's like the first edit option. It's like, okay, where is the part that lets me edit my penis? <laughs> it's not Conan. Ugh. Yeah, this is Conan. Let, this is Conan, dude. And it wasn't. Yeah, you know what? It wasn't that. You know what? The one in Conan wasn't that great. I was sorely disappointed. 
on what that on yeah. what I you know Jock's like oh look look Julia you can edit we was like no you know what this is lame it's not interesting it doesn't sw- it doesn't sway like a normal one it doesn't look natural it looks lame it's like Julia <laughs> Julia is just afraid of the just, just afraid of the power to of being true fish AI die. Julian wants flopping wiener physics you know what right? if I can if they can make if they can make a video game literally based on nothing but boob jiggle physics I deserve one where it has package physics how real packages sway in freaking banana hammocks. <laughs> Make a gay version of the DO of the DOA Beach Volleyball games. Freaking n- Team Ninja. Get on that shit. Um <laughs> I mean it would appeal to a certain audience. It would appeal to Julian. a certain audience. It would appeal to Julian. It would appeal to Julian. me, yes. That audience. Yes, it would. <laughs> Julian's like lined up night before, ready for that midnight release. It's never gonna happen. <laughs> It's like, I gotta be first in line. You never know how many people are gonna show up. <laughs> yes, you're an idiot. I wouldn't show up for day one. I go in, next day, glasses on, hide my face, voice, voice, you know, voice changer, overcoat. God, you're too ashamed of this shit. I go buy hentai games all the time. <laughs> no, if it's not a convention, it's fine. I don't care. Fuck it. At a convention, it's like, gimme. It's a store. You just go, hey, give me that porn. Oh my god! <laughs> I remember, like, like this is just real, one real quick thing. <laughs> I remember when I was at a, like one of my first conventions. I can't remember which one. I bought um some shit that you fucking um told me to get, Scott. I can't remember what the name of the damn anime was. Besides Magicano. Besides Magicano. But I remember Julie was with me while I was checking out, and I was like kind of embarrassed, and you were like. What are, you, what are you doing? And you just like, uh, like you know, like show the chick like what I'm getting, and I, and I'm just sitting there, and I'm just sitting there, freaking super embarrassed. Like, what the hell, dude? Oh man, good times, good times. I don't know, like the I've learned to not ask Julian to buy Dao Jinshi for me. You know, just because, you know, oh, I can't. You know, oh, I don't man. know the difference no, between Dao Jinshi. You're the only person I know that when I ask you to buy a Daojinshi, gets a Daojinshi with no nudity. I don't know that it didn't have nudity wow. section. They, they didn't label it well enough, okay? It's their fault, not mine. Ah, this is my first time hearing about this. <laughs> yeah, I asked them, I'm like, oh, just pick up a Daojinshi for me if they've got it at the convention. And, and like, they did, but they didn't label which ones were, like, which ones were um, safe for work you. and not safe for work. And I looked through and I'm just like, this doesn't even have like nudity, like not even tits. It's like I, it's, I'm sorry, I didn't know they didn't label it well Pokemon enough. High school DXD had more nudity. Damn. <clears throat> but uh, that's my story. Yeah, that's not, See, that's next not, time, that's ask not, the other that's degenerate. Not that fucking. That's not that fucking. I knew um, I should have saved my money and bought that bar I had instead. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it lights up and everything. Uh, so last big thing about xbox is that the new xbox comes out next year oh, end yeah. of the year next year. so it'll come out in holiday season Ooh, new xbox <sighs> do we really need a new um, system this soon i mean like my they, whole they, thing is ps4 and xbox one have been out for a while you just feel like they've been having yeah, out for that long because of, because of the pro year, the 10 year lifespan is definitely starting to go away and they're starting to come out a little faster now. I feel a lot of it was because Nintendo went to the Switch right away. You know what? I'm um, gonna have to start. Actually, I would definitely. I would I, I actually. Um, the real reason was that like the Xbox One and PS4 were just really underpowered when they came out. They were using they were using chipsets that just weren't that powerful. Because they rushed the damn uh, things out the door. So, yeah, they because they rushed them out. That's why he came up with the pros and the the pro and the, and the Xbox One X in the first place to like kind of do something. See, like I don't that. think so. I think that the reason that the pro and the Xbox One X came out was just because during their lifespan, technology got better. No, then, what was it? Um, because it was even like, when they it was came like out, legit. they were still like high end PC. No, it, no, no, it was no, no, it was no, it was like legit. Like they were like like legit, um, really anemic. There was like a lot of a lot of developers when they first came out. Saying yeah, like the limitations of the consoles won't let us do certain X or let, won't let us do Y. Um, there was a few articles coming out about that, and, and then that's why. And then it was like talking about the chips I mean, that they used were like not that. Great. All that they added basically with the newer versions is just 4K. 
Well, yeah, because they, they couldn't do too much more. But so, 4K I mean, kind of came around during the lifespan of the consoles. Like, 4K wasn't a thing when they were released. Or at least it wasn't a thing that average people had access to. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't something you really needed in your game system. Because it was just going to jack up the price. To be, honest, to be honest, it's still something I don't really actually need. I don't need my games to have 4K stunning all this yada yada blah blah blah. It's like if it looks good, if it looks good on the, my normal PS4, why do I need it to be on 4K? Well, and that's why like I bought just the normal Xbox One. Mm -hmm. um, for the Xbox One uh, X or the Project Scorpio deck, like, like it was just I'm I'm good without it. Let's see if Sony decides what... to make. We'll see if Sony decides it, to try and I mean, make a like down a downloadable yeah. only PS4. But well, not PS4, PS5. But it'll be interesting to see the new game system from Xbox. Um, I'll probably end up doing like I normally do with most new game systems and wait a year after it comes out. Oh, yeah. We forgot to talk about the new Xbox controller. It's a controller. It yeah. looks cool. Um, it looks, it, it looks nice. I'm, I'm not a big fan of pro controllers. I'm not. Uh -huh. But like, if I were, I... I, I would get it. To be honest, I'm surprised. We, it's like, do we really need another one? Didn't they just come out with a new My... controller? My thing was, like, why, why are they touting the fact that it's wireless? Like, was the other one not wireless? You know, no, like but no, it, it has, has chargeable batteries though. Like, you know, no more freaking. Mine doesn't. Batteries. Uh, no, the normal controller that comes with it doesn't. I was talking about the elite controller, like the one that, because this is the elite version too. And it's like, was the Elite version 1 not wireless? Because if so, that's a major misstep. Like, why would you not include a wireless controller? I, I, if you're I can't, paying yeah. and something dollars for a controller. I'm surprised that that was a feature. It's like, it's wireless. It's like, I'd assume it is. Like, at this point, a wired controller is like, why? Like, that's not a, that's not common. That's regressing yeah usually, wireless controller is just standard at this point the only time i ever buy only reason i would buy a wired controller is to save money but then it's like i don't have enough but then the, unfortunately with these things it's like there's not enough usb space in these things especially when you have to use a freaking external hard drive no, on they, one of them. yeah because they have two like all these systems have i still don't know USB. what the, why the hell the xbox decides to still use batteries period anyway yeah, I used I had one. I had my Xbox One for a month and I and I killed the new batteries I bought for it. That's one issue I do have is that they're like, oh, well, you want rechargeable? Buy this separate thing versus like a PS4 or a uh, Switch controller where it's like, what? No, it, this is Nintendo with like, the charge with recharge. the char with the chargeable pack when it came when the new 3DS came out all over again. Let's go. Yeah. Ugh. But it's like it, it's a minor thing, but it's kind of annoying. But no, the reason I don't plan to buy a new console at launch is just launch consoles always have issues. Uh huh. Yeah. Red Rings of Death. No, PS2. PS3 not, is just yeah. fucking not working. It PS2 not is even having issues. What com Yeah, it does not matter what company makes this. Launch consoles pretty much always have issues. The the Switch didn't have as big of issues as most other consoles. I don't think the Wii had any. I don't think the Wii or the Wii and the GameCube didn't have any when they first came out. It did have out. some issues. Um, I don't think. I don't think any of them. I don't think a lot of them flat out broke. But I do remember that like they had an issue with the Switch, basically cooking itself inside the dock, and then the, in, the, in, the, in the Switch console itself would bend. Um, it was certain people's, and it was like. I also, don't know what also sometimes, also that would happen when people would use a cord that wasn't because they're like the stupid dock doesn't. Yeah. That's why a lot of ones don't take docks without, for, well, not dock without Nintendo with the Nintendo Nintendo approved okay. freaking charge cable. Yeah, because when you start just doing random charge cables, it's kind of like, well, you're taking matters into your own hands. <laughs> like it can I, well, well, now they don't fire. let you. Now, now it barely even charges without without the damn thing. <laughs> So I tried to charge oh, one with like, a with a with a normal with a decently priced one that with, that wasn't the fucking Nintendo one. It's like it's like oh this barely works. And then I tried to dock it. It's like nope, without the Nintendo approved one, you can't use it. It's like so I'm like yeah. great. So I got to dig to my bag, get the Nintendo approved one now. I. It's not that bad. <sighs> mm hmm. Okay. So my whole thing is though that's why I'm not buying it year one or like 
day one or anything. Plus, like, I typically don't move, migrate over until a lot, like, until they build up a library. Mm-hmm. And then, I'm, oh, okay. I'm not getting yeah, shafted. Just like the, I'm not getting, I had, I need I at least three the, Wii, um, Wii U PS4 games. until Destiny came out. Should have waited a little longer. Yeah, you should have. Uh, <laughs> yeah, see, I, I, when Destiny came out, I was like, no, fuck it. I'm yeah, you should have. Now look who's the most butthurt about Destiny. It wasn't until Final Fantasy Type Zero, and that's because I wanted the Final Fantasy Fifteen demo. Should have got it when Bloodborne came out. And now look who's the most butt, butt hurt about freaking Final Fantasy Fourteen. Yeah, but I also got that PS4 on a really good deal. Like I think it was like two hundred and fifty dollars, and it came with four games. And I didn't get Destiny till t- till Taken King came out, which I got but... the Destiny PS4 so beautiful i love this thing. and then of course i got the xbox one shortly after like the halo master chief collection and the rare replay collection came out i just that. bought it out of, i just bought it with tax return money out of fucking like because i can <laughs> yeah. and then the switch i picked up once super mario odyssey came out um smash brothers wait no i think i had it before smash brothers didn't i well, I, I had, had it, it before smash brothers, oh i had it i oh wait no i forgot i got it like for i got it um when when there was like five or so games that came out for it and then when they announced smash brothers <laughs> when they announced it was coming out i got i got it like the same year they announced smash brothers was coming out so a, bit, a little bit before actually um i think i got it the summer i think i got it like in march or something if i remember because i had like mario i got mario odyssey and breath of the wild and a couple other games you know yeah and like my, and then my nice wii u decided my re, and then my wii u rotted rotted like it's really nice to like honestly when you pick up a system after waiting a year or so because then you can pick it up and you can be like I want these games and you just pick out like five or six games and mm-hmm. it's better than with like, the 3DS I got really Kingdom Hearts before I got Poke I had Kingdom Hearts before I, I waited till Kingdom I well everyone waits till Pokemon comes out <laughs> no one's gonna, nobody's who's got to get a no one's gonna get a freaking Nintendo handheld and they're like when's Pokemon coming out hmm. it's not a launch title who cares. Seriously, seriously. Yeah, it been uh, that was pretty much the Microsoft press conference. Overall, was it was good. That, uh, no need to mention. Uh, overall, I enjoyed it. Yeah, I I actually really enjoyed it. There was a lot of really fun games that I'm looking forward yeah. to. Just one thing about the Microsoft um, press conference that I didn't care for. Hmm. Phil Spencer, I understand that you like the sound of your own voice, but maybe you should stop with the rambling speeches and just introduce the games. Uh, it's like you, you yeah. get you are the get future of gaming's future. It's like uh, what are uh, you uh, talking uh, about? In the, future, in the future, I would like to see more gameplay and not just uh, cinematic trailers. Jack, well, the Jack, 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 watching E3. Exactly, like, that's what E3 hey, is. It's a hey, 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 hey. Last last year, last year, a few of the a few of those did a really good job of showing gameplay. I saw mostly. Yeah, I saw Jack, mostly cinematic a gameplay. Those games just aren't ready enough. Like. Then don't uh, well, you That's know the this? Don't remind you that you got excited ready. over Sea of Thieves and all it was was a trailer. Yeah, like I mean, it's just a matter of this is how E3 is, Jacques. They're just announcing things. They're not. Mm-hmm. Not everything is there to show. I feel, you okay, how. So no game, no hype. Much, my whole my whole take on this is that I feel like there's this trend of announcing games too early. And I feel like they should, like you know, we should they should stop. But how, how are they too early? Hype. Coming out next year. Hype. That's the like point. if you don't know that the game's coming out next if, year. If the game's coming, if the game's coming out next year, you have, that you have so you have some kind of beta gameplay to show. Also, let me remind you, Jacques, that it's not. not let me remind you, Jacques, that E3 is not is not one hundred percent for all the fans out there. They're still. I they're, know that's you know you they can't they can't do that. Because the internet, because with the internet these days, it's like, why do I need to sit, go? Why would I need to go to this thing when I could just wait for it? I could wait for the actual gameplay trailers Plus, to pop up online. The other thing is, Jacques, I guarantee, if you were there, a lot of those games were playable at E3, where you could go play the demo. It's like, uh, how like do the you get Kill the kill game? And then also, there, as there are plenty of game. There are plenty of influential people at E3 that aren't just freaking like. Um, and plus, companies. they're not gonna get playtime to every game. Like that's just insane. There were people I'm waiting, saying waiting I'm, in I'm all saying lines like more. For sure. I'm saying I was saying I like more. I'm not saying don't show any cinematic stuff. I'm just saying don't because, have it saying uh, be primarily uh, cinematic. But at the same time, like some things like the Dragon Ball Z game. 
Bandai Namco had their own thing and showed off gameplay for half an hour or so. Well, see, that's that's fair. Like that's fair. But that's I'm the whole thing. Like, don't don't that wouldn't have happened like, the Microsoft one. See, the thing that that's what happens when we don't. That's why we need to. If we want to actually experience more of it, we need to actually go, go support our support our Patreon to help us get to E3. You're, we, we promise we won't go to California for other things. I promise. What? No. No, I, we're not going to Disneyland no. or anything. Shut up. <laughs> it's not like um, no. it's not like Universal is like only half of is like only a few miles away from the convention center or anything. Who told you that? I didn't look that up. Shut up. But E E three? No, I'm at Disney. <laughs> it's like it's like, I mean yes, I'm at E three. Look E3. at this. Look look at this Kingdom Hearts game we're looking at. See, it has the haunted mansion in it now. Don't. <laughs> yes. It looks Star Wars, oh. everybody. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> anyway, let's move on to the conference that pretty much just made me groan half the time. Which one? Bethesda. I actually really love Bethesda. Bethesda wasn't. Uh, cause I'm gonna be honest. There's nothing really from, from Bethesda that I care about. <laughs> I think this is the one I was talking with Spoon about. I was negative I the mean, entire time. Really it. <laughs> we we got. We got one of the girls that won E3. We got our wife gone. <sighs> you know that was the only part of that was the only part I wasn't negative about. Uh, but also, it's horrible. Yeah, I still haven't seen anything horrible. And her game yet, looks so I'm great. I'm keep it that way. Like I'm really looking forward to that game. It's a horror uh, game, so I'm kind of not really into it. Love it. I love it so much. Um, like that trailer. Oh, good. It's Ghostwire Tokyo. See, this one's gonna be yeah. in pieces. This one's gonna be a bit in pieces because freaking just. Oh my god, it was hard to take notes. It was hard to take notes on this one. Besides what they did and didn't announce. Okay, so they announced. Um, so first they had to come out and talk about. Hey, look, everybody, we fixed all out seventy six. You know, yay! Four months, like yeah. five, five or six <laughs> months too late, you guys. Yeah, still, at least they went and did it. At least they Other fixed it. It's like, but the thing, like, but the thing about it is, you made it now like a, a proper, like a proper Fallout, like Fallout Four. It's like, okay, you could have did this from the beginning instead of wasting our time with this whole, the like whole the people make the NPCs like no people are dicks and they're gonna freaking and are, are not gonna sit there and try and cooperate with each other on some stupid thing that on something and help them with each other. No, they're just gonna see it's like oh look a person bang bang bang, bang 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 loot their shit and move on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Don't don't put too much. Or or you know set off three serious. different nukes. Or set off three nukes and completely destroy and completely make the game shut down. Although to be fair, right, their community has been at least uh, better. Mm-hmm. Like they haven't been a really toxic community from what I've seen. Yep. Well, um, nice. Okay. So um, one of my one of my friends was super pissed about this at the end. Um, they're like, so not a single piece of anything from Elder Scrolls, si- Elder Scrolls Six or Starfield or Starfield. Good job, you guys. But, he tuned out. At, he pretty much like got so mad. But at the same time, like I'm pretty confident they released an Elder Scrolls Six trailer just beforehand. E3. Uh, um, Elder Scrolls Blades uh, expanding on mobile. Expand, expanding. Um, gave all that the Switch and a it, Switch, Nintendo Switch version that's gonna be free. Like I can't wait because they actually said that. Uh, like it will be. Uh, God thoughts together you can start playing on the cell phone game and then migrate your data over to the switch version that's oh. pretty good guess. that's neat which is really cool yeah that's um, neat um it's like so freaking with pokemon that, so it's like with pokemon go yeah and then they're allowing cross play um okay the other game they announced was death loop which looks like bioshock before shit hit the fan like right before shit, like right around the time Death- shit was hitting the fan in Bioshock. Like I was actually interested in it. Well, because you like Bioshock, so of course you're interested in it. Uh, yep. <laughs> uh, Doom like, Eternal. There was Doom Eternal, which everybody got hyped for. I never really got into Doom. Looks fun. Um, I honestly still did not know that, that Scott was a fan of, of, of Bioshock. Really. Well, uh, yes. well, actually, well, 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 Jack, Jack, two, Jack, well, Scott, you, Scott, like you haven't, you've got, you got, you kind of haven't had anything good to say about any game after the first two, because like, because Bioshock, because it was Bioshock Infinite, Infinite. <laughs> Bioshock Infinite, and besides Infinite it sucks, yeah, it ruined everything that Bioshock One and Two was. Uh. 
Anyway, um, Infinite ruined the whole horror aspect. Yeah, Doom Eternal looks interesting. Essentially, it's like, it's like okay, we fought the devil. Now we're gonna go kill God. It's Doom That's RPG. Cool. It's Doom Final Fantasy style. <laughs> uh, freaking with. Let's let's go kill a let's go kill the Ella, let's go kill the gods that create everything and let the, everything fall to shit. Um, anyway, uh, Wolfenstein Youngblood. I think um, there's Youngblood. I'm yeah. not the big Wolfenstein fan, so yeah. Shout out to our patron Spoon Spoon, you know Spoon Sandwich for that one. He 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 told me he was excited for that game. That's yeah, cool. I, I, um, I've, they, I've talked Scroll, they talked about Elder Scrolls. They talked about Elder Scrolls Online. Elder Scrolls Online, which I used to play for a little while, but I kind of fell out of it because I just I, yeah I, I played bored. it for a little bit. I, I got bored. I got I just got I just the quests weren't very that entertaining for me. It's like I got, I actually got to level like thirty and I just stopped because I just got bored of some of the quests and some of the and the story and the story I just couldn't keep up. I just I had a hard time keep keep being staying interested. It's not it's not the game's fault. It's mine. Yeah. Yeah. I mean. And a lot of people it, are still, and a lot of people are still not happy that you know, uh, there was not much of um, any announcements about more stuff about Starfield, and I really he mentioned it, but it, 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 you know, it's Starfield. like, and everybody's you know still, and apparently some people are still mad about Todd Howard saying, you know, it's like we expected Fallout seventy six not to be that good at the beginning. It's like, well, why did you make it then? So why did you release it the way it was? Anyway, um, next is well, at least they're like, you know what. I'll give them props in the fact that they're having story reasons why it was the way it was, in a way. Like, why some of the stuff was. Like, why wasn't there NPCs and stuff? Well, yeah, everyone moved out, and then because you all are repopulating it by, because the vault opened up, people are starting to realize this is a safe haven and hearing stories about it, and they're starting to migrate back. No and I'm like, that actually is a decent story reason. That's a decent story reason, but it make, but literally, it's like, why don't you just? Why didn't they pop up the further you go out? Plus the uh, the well, you can only go so far, I and mean, the game's not infinite. <sighs> um, but like the whole thing is, they're also taking the Fortnite method of like seasons mm. instead of expansions. It's seasons. There's a battle royale now. Yeah, there's also a battle royale now. Everything, fucking battle royale. Yeah, because that because that's the, that's what's gonna b- get the fans come back. A battle royale system, you know that thing that people are sick of. <laughs> anyway, yeah, people are sick of it as like more come out every year and people like spend millions on them. Yeah, it's sure. like how can I? Go, how can you know? It's like how can we? It's like I, hmm. I, how, I think you don't understand. Yeah, they're I don't. Not yeah, they're not. The people aren't sick of it. Like, See, then why did everybody bitch and bitch and moan when so, when bitch and moan last year when someone came out with the fact that they were making another battle royale thing for this and battle royale thing for that? Because it's something easy to bitch and moan about, but at the same yeah. time. Like, I don't like it, and I'll bitch and moan about it, but at the same time, I realize why they're doing it and that it prints money. Like, true. But anyway, I can't but, hold that again. <laughs> but overall, Bethesda was kind of a, it wasn't a flat line. It wasn't, it wasn't a flat line, but it was no, barely, kept the, it barely kept the pulse going. Um, like I said, I'm really excited for Ghostwire Tokyo was the one that I was like really hyped for. Okay, I actually do have some notes about the PC gaming show that I actually wrote down. And I actually found well, the notes I for this one. Watch it. Uh, I found notes for this yeah, one. I they showed off uh, Midnight Ghost Hunt, which essentially looks like at first it's like you just playing a Ghostbusters game, and then the second half of it turns into Dead by Daylight, which it looked interesting. Um, Remnant from the I'm... Ashes, I cannot remember a thing about this game. They introduced Baldur's Gate 3. That was good. They're the ones who brought up Baldur's Gate 3 coming back out. Yay. Good for them. Um, um, yeah, I I haven't played any of that, so uh, maybe I can't I'll give it, give it a try. Um, my friend Nick is excited about Baldur's Gate 3. I never played any of Baldur's Gate I games. mean, I'd probably be more excited if I had a PC that could um, play they showed off. Stuff. They showed off some stuff about Borderlands 3, and also they showed the game. They showed off gameplay and, and actual gameplay and cinematics from Shenmue 3. Wow. Did they show getting some gash upon and <laughs> No Scott. They didn't show standing in front of a building. Standing in front of a building and freaking petting a cat. They didn't show that nonsense that you make me sit through, but unfortunately is actually shit that happens in the game. Breathe, Julian. Don't Well then they it's a, it's uh, like I guess they didn't want to 
I guess they didn't want to spoil the plot of Puss Puss. <sighs> Puss Puss like, is that is alive. plot sensitive. Anyway, um, they also showed off the Samsung CRG5 with Avatar. the fancy, the fancy new, the fancy new monitor that they have. That monitor that they're coming Ooh. out with. If I knew about tech specifications, I'm sure I would be. Once really again, excited Spoon Sandwich was really excited about that. What he's like, yay, more tech! I'm yeah, gonna go broke. Um. Okay, later. Like and said, then uh, let's it, see. Like, I had yeah. to, this was the part where I had to. Um. Oh yeah, Shenmue Three is going to be available first on the P- on PC for the Epic Game Store. Yeah, it's an Epic Game Store exclusive. Yeah, I saw that. And then, oh yeah, Planet Zoo. <laughs> I that was interesting. It's like it's that was inter- that that I got. I like that game. I like that one. Can Zoo Tycoon come back? It's essentially a spiritual successor to Zoo Tycoon, so just play that. Well, fine. <laughs> yeah, fine. I want Zoo Tycoon though. <laughs> then go find Zoo Tycoon then. No, I want a new Zoo Tycoon. Well, you're asking for too much, I'm guessing. Anyway, let's, new- ne- let's, let's go to the next press conference. Yay. Square Enix? No. Actually. Uh, Ubisoft was before Square Enix. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ubisoft yeah. was before Square before Square Enix started. Ubisoft came out in, in the middle of the day, and I didn't get a chance to look at that until, like, yeah. yesterday? <laughs> I watched that with uh, Spoon. And Spoon, we're talking about it on our Discord. Um, which, if you all haven't joined our Discord yet, so Jacques, are you happy? The are you happy over the fact that the game that you were talking about wanting to see, they didn't talk about shit about? I'm happy, I'm happy about the uh, the wait, what game you thought I was talking about that I wanted to see? They didn't talk about shit. Beyond what? Good oh, and Evil Two. Oh, oh, Jacques doesn't remember that that exists. Yeah, well, whatever. Like, oh, that was the game that was that was the game that I was kind of looking forward to. But like, to be honest, if it, after Scott was ta- told me the changes that they made, that there's not going to be as open as it was as it was supposed to be, it was like eh, I'm a bit less yeah, interested. But it's still in development. Just... So, but it's still in development. Clearly, because they didn't talk I mean, shit about it. Change. Yeah, they didn't mention anything about it, or yeah. it might just be quietly canceled. <laughs> but. Way to go! Uh, way to go! To, uh, roll, way to go! Throw up the hype train on that one and make all those fancy cinematics. They're going to be useless. Useless. At least you know. Uh, at least we'll Gigantic see. didn't have a damn tra- didn't have some kind of bullshit trailer for it before Disney decided to cut to cut it. Anyway, no, but Scalebound did. Uh, yeah, it did. <laughs> Fucking anyway. Um, okay, so so, so Ubisoft's press conference started out with the Assassin's Creed Orchestra. And so they decided to pick up the slack that um in, differing opinions on that. They decided to pick up the slack this from where Sony Assassin's left off last Creed. year. Yeah, Assassin's Creed Symphony, like Assassin's Creed music is just not as good. Like I, I was kind of bored. I don't think of any memorable things from that. They should have used. They should have saved that. But Spoon loved it, so good shout out him. to Spoon. Again, um, I, I was very much like not nah, good. Like they're not Final Fantasy. It's not Kingdom Hearts. There's no memorable songs in this. <laughs> it's, it's not, not Mass Final, Effect. It's not Final Fantasy. It's not. It's not Persona. It's not a Nintendo game. It's not. It's not even like um. It's not, Pokemon. It's not even Halo. <laughs> no. <laughs> it's not even Halo. It's like Halo or even Destiny. Even yeah. Destiny has some memorable <laughs> tracks that people like. Um, but shit. Um, one of the games I'm kind of they talked about. Uh, freaking um. Tom Clancy's Elite Squad. I had this. It's a mobile game that I wrote down. And pretty much, I yeah, wrote which, this down. By the way. I, I, it's like because of the name Sam Fisher, it has Sam Fisher in it. So I'm like, okay. Yeah, it had a lot of different people. Um, but like, essentially, the Ubisoft press conference for the most part was if you don't like war shooters, don't bother, because that's like all you're getting, except for like two random games, like Watch Dogs. Watch Dogs, yeah, the new Watch Dogs with the old lady. <laughs> that was fucking awesome. Which, Julian, did you see what I was telling Spoon he should do since he's picking that up right away? You, like, told- you need a group. Yeah, a group of old women and call them the Golden Girls. That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Um, what else I have? The, an expansion to a new popul- a new um, mode in freaking Rainbow Six Siege. Because that game just keeps living and living and living and living and living and, living and, living and it's freaking 
It's freaking amazing. I'm surprised. I mean, like, if you like it, great. That's definitely another pass for me. <laughs> uh, I, I've always thought about playing Rainbow Six Siege, and then I don't. No, oh, let's see. Yeah, the tri- the freaking uh, gods and monsters, monsters like that. Like Scott said, and you know, Just Dance Twenty that is getting a Wii release. Yeah, let let's just take a moment to appreciate the fact. But that the, Wii the Wii is, is not is dead yet. Yeah, that the Wii yeah. is getting a game. But the 360, the PS3, the Wii U, and the 3DS are not. Well, the 3DS was going to get that game anyway, but I got that just But the fact anyway. that, the, that the 3DS has now died before the Wii. The Wii U died yeah. before the Wii did. Freaking hell. <sighs> Give me a second. I'll be right back. Like, I have no words. Like, no. I mean... I was dying of laughter when I saw that. Dying. Because me and Spoon were sitting there, like, joking that, oh, I bet it's going to be for the Wii. And then I see the picture, and it shows the Wii logo, and I'm like, oh, my God, it is. Like, (laughs) what the fuck? Like, I was cracking up so bad that it's like, no, they just decided, like, yeah. But I found out why, and it actually does make a lot of sense. What? So, the reason why it's still coming out for the week is that in a lot of hospitals and stuff, they use it as rehabilitation. Ah, okay. And Wii's are really cheap. Like, dirt cheap. So that it's a way that they can bring, like, have people do something that will get them physical activity and entertain kids like, for a very cheap what like in a very cheap way and i'm like that actually makes a lot of sense mm-hmm. so make a lot of sense. you know shout out to just dance for actually thinking about you know kids in hospitals and stuff like that yeah. so yeah, but it also uh, but it also shows how like like um not what's the word what should i say not next gen or even current gen or pe- oh the the freaking um but it's, dances, but it's a just dance <laughs> game. Like it doesn't have to have amazing graphics or anything else. True. Like it's just dancing. I wonder if you have uh, to order it or if you can just like get it. I the last one was available at Walmart. Really? Like just there. On Wii. Yep. I've returned. Cool. Uh, they also talked some about division. Yeah, the exp- the new stuff for coming out for division two. I'm gotta finish the first stuff. Another that came uh, out. another ignoring from me. I, I just I, you know I'm, I, it looked good, but I gotta come out with stuff. So yeah, no more no nothing about the two games that they've been building up hype for for a little while for Beyond Good and Evil oh, Two and, and Skull and Bones. Fun. Great there was also Ubisoft. that that sports game that looked like. The game from Alita Battle Angel that they play. I can't remember that. What you're talking about? It was like playing. It was like basketball on roller skates, and they roll around the the arena. Oh, and they into the vertical thing. Oh, it's, that game. It was totally Motorball from uh, Alita Battle Angel. <laughs> All right. Okay. But Next. I'm def- let's, well, let's just move on. You know what? I have I have a question. When do, and when are we going to start getting our uh, futuristic sports? I want our futuristic sports. Damn it! Ugh, Jacques, rollerball is I mean, dangerous. Like... Rollerball is dangerous. It was a deadly sport. Most of, Jacques, most of the future sports were deadly. Yeah, and that's the other thing. Uh, there was no Assassin's Creed. What football is deadly? I don't see anybody completely okay. Uh, 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 Plenty think about that, but still, football is deadly. We still allow that. Chuck any sports deadly, like if you don't take precautions. Mm-hmm. Shit, football is deadly with precautions. <laughs> that's like it's like football is like one of the only sports that's deadly with the precautions. Not, um, uh, uh, have you forgot about boxing? Yeah, boxing, boxing, is, uh, boxing, act- wrestling. But wrestling. If, we, if we start, if we start like like you uh, going with like actual like you know like uh, combat sports, 
then you know UFC takes the cake for all of them. Uh, basketball can be too. Like you can get a pretty serious concussion from getting knocked down and run it. And, and also, and also, if you also home. you pivot yeah. wrong, you could fucking snap your snap your ankles, snap the bo- ankle bones in your ankles. Like I mean, there's a lot of sports that are dangerous and deadly, Jock. That's see, see. That's so we can have my future. Even esports is deadly. You could get carpal tunnel. Okay, that's not deadly. That's, that's just... not really deadly. Yeah, it's just <laughs> like. <laughs> Um, yeah, like deadly. That's a bit of a strong word for carpal for that, Julian. You know, carpal tunnel is deadly for me because you know if I can't use my hands, I'm just you know. Oh, but it was I might, really as, well, I might as well cut them off. Didn't... Was really weird that they didn't show any new Assassin's Creed game, uh-huh. like not even a trailer. Mm-hmm. They did show the little like thing at the end that I was curious what like more details about it, but that was it. There's yeah, another press conference that kind of just kept the pulse going but didn't really like send the send anything into overdrive the next one the next one brought brought back the energy though square enix usually who are kind of just who kind of just fizzling out of or just using whatever sparks they have left over from sony but this year they could shine on their own true yep um this year they said oh let's go ahead and get this up let's hurry up and get the first one out of the way they re- they showed us the, they showed us a trailer for for more Kingdom Hearts stuff, but we're, for the Kingdom Hearts um, uh, DLC, DLC stuff coming out. But let's go ahead and get Wait. the Final Fantasy VII remake stuff out of the way. Yeah, which by the way, if you wanted to play that demo of Final Fantasy VII remake at E3, it was super fucking limited. Even if you were an industry person, um, even for reporters and industry icons, there was very limited tickets. You had to be there at very specific times. But I work for. But in- I. Have, it's like Phil Spencer's like. I'm the head of Xbox. I'm sorry, sir. You can't get in. <laughs> Miyamoto is like. But I'm. Nin- I am literally Nintendo. I'm sorry, sir. Like you didn't get a ticket. I'm sorry, I'm sorry Miyamoto. I'm sorry, Miyamoto. Sorry. Like I'm come sorry. back. I'll make my own Final Fantasy, Fantasy game. Cancel Crystal Chronicles. Yeah. Hookers. <laughs> I'll go play Crystal Chronicles. Oh, what was it? Uh, Tets- Tetsuya Nomura was like, I-, I worked for you. Nope, didn't get one. <laughs> like, I would love that. Like, Miyamoto walks over there like, fine. I'll put my, I'll make my own Final Fantasy 7. It'll be on one fucking disc. <laughs> <laughs> Oh god, that's terrible. Anyway, <laughs> oh my god, but it, it, it you know, as much as I'm not happy about the Midgar stuff, the fact on that one disc, Midgar, which was five to ten percent of the original Final Fantasy, according to research, is now the entire first game. First game, yeah, you know, for how long it takes, it doesn't feel like it. Well, and the issue is, it's like. I, I get that they quote unquote added stuff, but at the same time, like that, like you're talking the forty to six per game where I'm just in one city, and then we we play it it's right when the game. plot thickens and it's over. Like, that's one, it, one issue. Is the other thing is it's unless I'm breaking up for anybody else but me think so uh, um, I think but Scott, like Scott one of the other glitched out for a second but <laughs> okay one of the other big issues is that in depending on what they changed because we still haven't seen what they changed and added mm-hmm. uh, but there was no real random battle areas that you can just go grind a lot of those were like one-time areas in midgar well besides that one t- that one thing where suddenly they summoned shadow dogs fighting but chasing Aerith, that was new it's like but like, it's like, like that it's thing from memory. advent like those like when they pop those, those things from advent children it's like that was, that was a cool map. but it's just a matter of i don't know about a whole rpg essentially quote unquote mm-hmm. that will take place in just one city yeah that's it well it's just one city well, there are plenty of it's RPGs just that take place in one city. Si- there is an RPG that takes place in one city. I can't remember what it's called, but the city had like freaking. Shit. It sort of takes place in one city, sort of. Well, yeah, but it's like takes what? place in a different. But it also, but also does... half the stuff, half Persona, half of the games, sort of. Are, but the, uh, half of the game is in other dim- as in weirdly is in weird dimensions yeah, created by the mind. That... Yeah, I mean, because it has dungeons that aren't in the city, versus just everything is in the city. 
It's like, no, you're leaving the city to go I to mean, different places. Like, honestly, for a lot of stuff. honestly, dude, it's just we. It's it's it's, it's crap that they're that they're putting it on more uh, that they're the way they're doing it. It's always been crap that they're doing it the way they're doing it, and it's just like like I I really wish that 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 the, that the internet wouldn't uh the, like other a lot of other YouTube and Molten wouldn't immediately don't immediately because they love Final Fantasy VII so fucking much and um shove goddamn Square Enix's dick down their throat so so goddamn far that it touches stomach acid until Kingdom Hearts comes out and suddenly everybody wants to talk well about it like because that was one issue that everyone was like oh well it'll be in multiple parts well all those parts will add up to sixty dollars and it's like. No nope. bullshit. They never said that. No, I don't see his thing. I don't know if I don't that. know if you remember. I don't know if you remember, but we we clashed with the internet over this um in the past. If you can if you go look at our video about Final Fantasy VII when they first announced it, it has like dislikes and com- angry comments on it. They do. Yeah, and it's like yes, they do. Now we they do. Oh, they but do. now it oh. has been revealed that this game will be sixty dollars mm-hmm. for well, part what, one. What would you say? What would you say, um, Julian? Wait. Did we make a video about that? Yes, we made a video. Yeah. You you weren't there. You, I don't think you were there. I think it was just me and Scott that day. You you that, that was back with, during the other breakfast lazy gaming guys. And it's actually and uh, and I actually posted the that conversation between me and Scott as a short. And yeah, freaking um, th- there are angry comments on that video. And like that video is disliked <laughs> huh. because yeah, because we spoke the truth. Because everyone was so quick to say, oh, well, it's going to be episodic, but don't worry. It'll all add up to $60. Why would you think that? Things like that. I don't know why they thought that. They were desperate. They were desperate to try and, like, reason it out in their mind why this is, like, multiple parts. You know, the fact that they released Final Fantasy XV unfinished gave me even more of a reason to to freaking believe that they would give me this, that they would give us this in pieces. I think that fans would be a little bit better right now if they announced how many parts it's going to be total, but they don't even know how many parts it's going to be total. Because they only develop... Like, we just developed the Midgar parts. We'll worry about the rest later. They basically said that they have no idea. They haven't even scripted out past Midgar. So they have no idea how many parts this is. Nah, dude. It's just... For all we know, this could be seven parts. And they're just like, oh, we're just going to keep milking this. However, as everybody far loves as the color gray. Gray. However, everyone loves their grays, their browns, their blacks, because you're going to see a lot of it. Because there is only green like, you see is, an er- is in the stupid church where, er- where you find Eris. And that's it. And Mako. Like, I guarantee that, like, part two is going to be, like, the next five to ten percent of the game. Let's see. And let's then, see. Let's see. It gets up to Sid, three. and then it gets up to Sid, and then it just stops. Like you'll get like one right. new party member. You get eight, okay. Uh, I thought we get... had more, but we had we. I thought we had more than one. I also remember tying up with people on Reddit about this. That's probably why I thought there were multiple. We Yuffie, but we, we have get... angry comment. We have like two dislikes on this video, and out of the you know, freaking forty-one people that watched it. So yeah, like like people, people were not happy about the fact that we and Scott were bit were were, were, were bashing on this. Hmm? You know, we, we were speaking what is now confirmed as truth. Yeah, like, you know, they're splitting the. Uh, hold on, let me see. They're splitting the games and, uh, to fit the story in uh, uh, in today's graphics and technology. And they didn't I would show rather see. At all. Yeah, yeah, that's like that's that's what that's the comment. But I'm not gonna read the whole thing because it's kind of it's actually a long. It's actually, it's actually a paragraph. They didn't show off any. <laughs> so they didn't show off any of Red Thirteen. But it's like you could easily have made it fit today's graphics. I mean, I get that they wanted to add stuff, and I understand that. But I feel that they would have been better off waiting to announce it and actually making a full game, like full, complete Final Fantasy VII remake, and then here we go. Done. And, Agreed. That, and I like, understand that this, Scorpion bo- this, that's a boss fight, but I understand it's a boss fight, but that Scorpion fight went on a little but too long. You know what? Here's mm-hmm. the other thing that all these people aren't thinking about. The fact that this is part one and that they haven't scripted part two yet. Yeah. Think about the fact that the new PlayStation 5 is going to come out. The PS5 is coming out probably next year, if not the year after. Part two ain't even going to be on PS4. 
So part one will be on PS4. Part two will be on PS5. Well, Scott, 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 then, remember, remember who's a part of the who's part of the development system on this? It's fucking Nomura again. Because who let that hack? Yes, who but, who keeps letting this hack keep doing things? I love Tetsu, I love Kingdom Hearts. Don't get me wrong, but Tetsuya Nomura is the reason why it's so batshit insane, and why it's on multiple systems. It's all Tetsuya Nomura's fault. Thank you, Tetsuya Nomura. Mm. You are. I wouldn't blame it all on him. I mean, like, he's only one man. Like, but he he can only do so much. <laughs> you know, he. Takes... But at the same time, <laughs> it's a matter of the fact that. Like, how should I put this? The fact that it took, what, three years now for them to do part one from the release trailer? Like, the teaser trailer? That they said they were going to do part only part. They said there's going to be multiple parts. I like and the, the fact like that the... we're basically at the end of the PS4's lifespan, it's kind of like, well, clearly this isn't all going to be on one console. I like how um, we said that the Square Enix had a good press conference and we're spending most of it bitching about about Final Fantasy VII. <sighs> it's because I'm I mean gay. they had some good games. Like I, lo- I love the better. way it thought, I love the way it looks. It's not, it's gorgeous. Don't, don't get me wrong, it looks gorgeous. I know it looks but, I know, it looks fucking great. It looks great, and but the, the gameplay looks is... inter- the gameplay looks freaking amazing. But <sighs> but the issue is I'm not spending sixty dollars on that shit. It's like the the nah. one thing that's wrong with it. Brings out everything that's wrong with squ- wrong with this game. <laughs> like it's because they knew that Final Fantasy VII is a cash cow, mm-hmm. and we could either remake Final Fantasy VII and make money, or we can put it out in parts and make more money by doing it at sixty dollars a pop. And then people make, will pay it. And then make stupid. And then make some kind of boot. And make some kind of give some, out. Some, and then we can also give out three different special, three or four, five different special editions for it. Because guess what? Uh, I think it's just... Final Fantasy. Because guess what? This game had no, no, no. I'm talking about for each game they give out a special edition. Oh. For yeah. each for each part they oh. come out with, they can have a special edition for it. Like you get your Claude figurine in this one, your Sephiroth figurine yeah, in this one, your say, Aerith like, figurine in this one. Barrett, no, it'll be like a Barrett figurine. Like get your Barrett figurine. Barrett. Get your get your get your character. Get this character figurine. Get your Sephiroth one wing angel figurine. It's like oh my god. <laughs> Although I'm not gonna lie, I'd probably buy a Tifa one. Any <sighs> Yuffie. Can't wait to see how it's can't like, wait to see how they change can't wait to see how they change Yuffie because right can't wait to see how they change Yuffie because her character design yeah, was busy was busy and kind of and to be honest I'm gonna admit the original Yuffie's character design is kind of ugly Kingdom Hearts kind of made it better I love it. Kingdom Hearts I made it better because <laughs> freaking like uh, what's with the shoulder thingy what's with the arm what's with the arm guard thing like why do you have one side with like fish with this weird like freaking metal well, fishnet leg thing I, I will give you one answer. <laughs> It's Final Fantasy. Yeah, it's Tetsuya Nomura yeah, going well, batshit insane yeah, with his character why, design. Why there. is Lulu wearing like multiple belts? Because Tetsuya Nomura is because understand Tetsuya Nomura is a character designer. He is not a director. He's a crazy person. <laughs> why is like Titus wearing short, half shorts, half pants? I don't know. Why does Saz have? Why does Saz have a freaking chocobo in his hair? That apparently its name spoken hey. can destroy, can rip the universe into shreds. Hey. That the actually Frokobo. happens in, thir- yeah, in thirteen two, hey, by hey, the way. Not kind of it act- the Frokobo is like the best part. Or of why, Va- or why Vaughn in twelve looks like a fucking girl. Vaughn's a man's name, and I'm a man. Ugh. Or why, but, uh, or why, or why clearly a princess is wearing a really, really tiny min- red miniskirt, which clearly should have showed off her panties plenty of times in that video game, but didn't. Which wait, which one are we talking about? Twelve. Twelve. <laughs> Well, Julian, you were also following the wrong main character. And Balthier was the main character. Yes, Balthier and Princess, a- and Princess Ash were supposed to be the main were supposed to be the main characters, not fucking I, Vaughn Bal- and Penelope. Balthier, Balthier <laughs> even says he's the leading man. It's like fucking, but, and then uh, it's like, no, let's fo- focus all these two street rats, Vaughn and Penelope. Yay! Fuck these two. Well, it's, I don't even use her. Fantasy, <laughs> Final Fantasy makes more sense when you realize that it's Star Wars. <sighs> Hmm? Final 12, Vaughn, is, Vaughn is Luke Skywalker, Ash is Princess Leia, Balthier is Han Solo, and Fran is a sexy Chewbacca. Yeah, but but essentially freaking, but essentially freaking Final Fantasy twelve t- is is it's as if it's so if it's freaking being told by Han Solo's perspective and not Luke's. 
And if Luke was and if Luke was even and if Luke was useless, because guess what? He has no because literally it's like he has no purpose there. Because guess what? One of your one of your main adversaries is freaking related to related related to one of your other freaking characters. Gabrand is Gabrand is the twin brother of another character. Come on, man. Anyway, let's move on before I get into a rather rant yeah, about something stupid. Probably, uh keep going because there's a lot more to the square Enix express conference they talked about dragon quest build dragon quest builders 2 i like the announcement for that one that was that was fun yeah Yeah, um i'm looking forward to that because number one was good uh dragon quest uh freaking dragon quest 11 s echoes of an elusive age definitive edition what yeah, they're coming out with the definitive edition. I think that's that, yeah. Uh, that, that was probably. the name of it. Yes. No. <laughs> it's yeah. It's Dragon Quest Eleven, but with all the DLC essentially. Yeah, pretty much. Um, let's see. Uh, Which I recommend actually. Well, like Dragon Quest Eleven is fantastic. Uh, the they talked game. about Just Cause Four DLC, I believe, if I remember correctly. Nope. Uh, what was that other game? Was that other? Was that game? No, no, it wasn't. Uh, let's see. Um, it's for DLC. Um, Life is Strange. I think they talked Life is Strange too. Yes, they did talk about Life is Strange. No, they just showed like a bunch of stream, like a bunch of streamers. Yeah, they showed a bunch of streamers reacting oh, to Life well, is Strange too. A, a person who all I, who I only recognize Jack Sat- Jack Jack Septicai. Mm-hmm, that's it. That's all I recognize. I recognize <laughs> no one because I'm not a sad, pathetic person. Anyway, um. Uh, what else was there? Oh, right, the thing that me and Scott got hyped about. Final Fantasy VIII is getting a remastered version, so now I can play Final yes. Fantasy VIII without Squall's face looking like um pixelated garbage. There's also the Kingdom yes. Hearts. There's also the Kingdom Hearts. Um, we talked about DLC. that already. We talked about that first before we got into the Final Fantasy VII rant. And... <laughs> uh... Well, we didn't actually go into what it entails. But... Yeah, that's why I don't remember it. Yeah, it's not, like, yeah, I was just revision it quick. I don't remember freaking talking about that. Because they all. released a trailer for it days before E3. Yeah, I mean, but we should probably actually it. mention the whole fact of what it entails, Julian. Okay, fine. And they're going to add so. The- they're adding uh, Roxas, Aqua, and Riku as playable characters, and from the looks of it, you can play through the whole story with them. Um, it, they are also adding in uh, the Oathkeeper Keyblade finally. Mm-hmm. Uh, wait, I, I'm still waiting for the Oblivion. Eh, who cares? And use Roxas. Warriors. Play as Roxas. <laughs> yeah, Roxas actually is dual wielding the whole time, which is really cool. But they're adding in two new worlds, from what I understand. So that'll be really cool. Mm-hmm. And uh... we're also gonna find out more about Lux Sword, which, by the way, I'm calling it. Uh, I don't think Julian was there when I called it before. You, I'm calling it. You Julian. told me afterwards. That Luxord is Master of Masters. Yes, and I said, and at first, and Jacques was there too, because then freaking you, because I said that can't be real. It, and th- at first, I was gonna deny you. I'm like, you know what? No, no, I'm not gonna deny you because this is Kingdom Hearts. They could freaking do that. Well, they could pull that shit. And they would. And they could pull that shit because none of us saw fucking Zigbar, be, Zigbar being Lushu. Now did we? Yeah. Um. Uh, I mean, it makes sense though because Master of Masters. He did just play things on a whim and stuff like that. He was very much just on a whim. And Luxcord is very much the same way. He just plays games of chance and I still want, never still, knows whether he'll Union win Union Cross or still, has an ex- still has an explained freaking Demix's uh, part. Demix's, I, 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 Demix's I, 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 role I, 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 in that. I thought Lushu was the what was the was that like like also like just like did shit like that, wasn't he? No, no, no. The Master of Masters is a crazy person. Lushu, again? nothing. Yeah, Luke he's like, like showed up at the end with the box. And he showed up. Like, they oh. literally at the literally at the thing. It's like he only does is like, okay, Lushu, you got here's your, here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go off here's and this black. Here's your, here's the, here's a key. Here's my keyblade, a black cloak, and a box, and a box. He's like, well, what about the others? You don't tell the others. Just what? Just sit in the background and watch. It's like, are, are you serious? Yep. And pass this keyblade on to your to your apprentices. But 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 no buts. Do it as I command. Yep. Uh, okay. And that's what he did. That Just way. ran off. Because that keyblade right has the key master in the box. Eye. Yep, and, and because that keyblade has the master master's eye in it, that's how the master masters can see into, into the future. Uh, there's nothing. More, that... There's nothing more to it. 
I'd like them to explain Which, what happened to the why in the hell the um the the um the overseers suddenly just pop up at the end of Kingdom Hearts three. That'd be nice to understand what the fuck happened there. Yeah. But also, I hope I, one of the that also reminds me if they're gonna bring up if they're gonna bring up more stuff about the Keyblade stuff, I hope they bring back Day, Daybreak Town as one of the worlds. And ex cool. and explain some Union Cross shit that literally the people who will never I play also the mobile like game are confused about. Uh, Dimix is also a character I would like to see what happened to. Yeah, because they didn't use him at all. It's kind of just, they just showed he up was once. also technically a candidate to be Master of Masters, in my opinion. Like, he was very aloof and easygoing. I would have believed he was Lushu before anything else. <laughs> for the sake bar. But, uh, but overall, like, yeah, looking forward to the DLC. Um, this will be the paid DLC, though. We have to buy it. Uh, well, I don't know about the characters. I know the worlds are. Mm -hmm. But I think the characters are as well. Is this is the extra story bits? Uh, who am I kidding? Of course, the extra story bits are, are also. We don't know. Uh, <laughs> we have no. The extra story idea. bits are paid deal. Yes. It's essentially their equivalent of the final mix version. Mm -hmm. Okay. Nah. Except instead of making you pay another sixty dollars, including it. But I was seriously excited. But I was. And I'm sure that there's going to be a copy for people that haven't bought the game of like Kingdom Hearts Three Final Mix or something like that that comes out with the DLC. See, because I talked about some other games that I can't out remember them off the top of my head. Because but yeah, I don't uh, have, my list doesn't even have anything. So Final, Fantasy, Final Crystal Fantasy Crystal Chronicles is also coming out on Switch, PS4, Xbox One, all that. <sighs> I don't want to be so pot be bitch. Fun. You're going to be pot bitch. No, Jacques going to be pot bitch. No. Jacques always pot bitch. Jack, you're going to sit in the back and and let the people who actually know how to play RPGs play RPGs do their magic. <laughs> Hey, I know how to play RPGs, RPGs you bastard. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the time uh, you broke Tail Symphonia. Hey, hey. Oh, uh, Shock thinks he's people. <laughs> Fuck you, Scott. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, I don't know if that. I think that's everything from my list of Square Enix stuff because I, because I was a little too, because I just. Freaking, there was so much of this. E there was, as usual, E3 is a um, amalgamation of things that literally of uh, I care and I so literally oh, don't care. There was also the Avengers. Oh, yeah, the Avengers crap. How did I forget about that? How did I forget? About oh, right, because mostly only cinematic and nothing else. It's mostly just fucking cinematics that look like that look like that look like PS yeah, only PS3 um, games. But it was also available. There was a demo to play at the mm. of that game. But yes, the Avengers but, uh, game will be interesting. I love how they switch Thor, I, how they switched um Thor and the voice actor for I think Thor they, and the voice I actor think the for all look like shit. Yeah. They all look like shit. I love how the person who usually is um And there's uh, no Hawkeye. Hulk is Thor. <laughs> usually the guy who plays Hulk in all the Marvel things that the, all Wait. cartoons that Disney were coming out with is Thor now. Why is there no Hawkeye? I don't know. I don't know. Why does Tony Stark have a mop top? Like, there's so many questions. Why, like, where is Cap yeah? Clearly, Captain uh, America's dead in this or something. I'm, like, I'm it doesn't seem like. Well, uh, this might be the. I don't know. This might be the first Marvel thing. Marvel, Marvel made thing that has nothing to do with the D, the D, the MCU since freaking <clears throat> Marvel Marvel versus Capcom three. Like there's, there's a lot of issues. It's just yeah. It's the first thing that has nothing to do with know, the MCU since that since in a long ass time. It's something that I'm definitely going to uh, tell when Ultimate Alliance three comes out. Yeah, Ultimate Alliance three looks better. Well, speaking of Ultimate Alliance three, let's just go ahead and skip to Nintendo. Why, why don't we? Since if unless anybody else has anything else to talk about. Oh um, yeah! Oh yeah! Uh, oh yeah! Hmm. Should we should get when Final Fantasy uh, Final Fantasy Eight didn't have a release date. It just said coming soon, which made me mad. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, why does this thing tell me about Sony's miss? Sony not having an appearance at all. Uh, anyway, moving on. Um. Okay. So Nintendo, let's pull let's pull the Smash Bandaid off both of them. First, okay. the Dragon Quest character got announced. Yay, Dragon what? Quest! And he could, you could switch it's it between so like four different, four different ones—one from one, eight, 
and four. And four. Uh, one, eight, four, four and, and 11. 11. And then the and the rest of them will just come out whenever you um do the final smash. I'll do the final smash. And yeah. his moves are a mixture of magic and sword and stuff. So pretty much it's a new, it's a different version of Robin. Yeah, yeah, pretty much so. I mean, he looks cool. I actually like. Actually, uh, think he looks pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, he looked. Yeah, it looked I'll interesting. I didn't hate. I didn't. I didn't hate it. What? Yeah, and then there's yeah. the one that the internet freaked out is freaking out about. Probably oh, you mean the one that broke Twitter? Oh, you mean the one that broke Twitter? The one that broke Twitter, and then letter literally less than an app, less than. Which is funny because twenty like, minutes the later, people... there was already there was already plenty of people, oh. there was already plenty of porn of him popping up like, everywhere. All oh of... my god, are you serious? I'm not, <laughs> I am dead serious. <laughs> All of the people I follow on Twitter, like one of them mentioned it. Like that was all of my timeline. It was just one person. Most of half I'm my like, timeline oh. was literally nothing but van- nothing but people freaking out about Vandro. Yeah, like <laughs> I, I went on there and I don't like follow a lot of people on Twitter and, and stuff, but I, even I saw like a few posts immediately. I think I have a lot more Nintendo 64 fanboy fanboys I follow on Twitter than I thought. Uh, it's apparently. And if, for those of you who watched our video about the E3 release, I've already unleashed my bit my my bitter hatred, my bitter butt hurtness about the whole situation. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it again. I'm not gonna do it again. It was unnecessary. It, I will admit that it was. An unnecessary initial reaction, but that was what that video was for. Yeah, like, like, honestly, dude. I'm sorry. I don't. I'm sorry that literally I don't share the same nostalgia for all the other Nintendo fanboys that I didn't own a Nintendo until six, until GameCube, so I don't really care. Well, see, I played a lot. And then the only other game did, thing I had was Game Boy Advance. What character it is? Game Boy Color. I was like, Banjo. Oh, I don't think we ever did Banjo, 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 Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie. Um. But, well, I still agree with Scott. The eyes freak me out. The eyes on Banjo just don't look right. Something looks off about them. They're like just a little weirdly, too big. Like, my, they're like Stepford Wives, like mind control shit going on with Banjo. It's just a little too big. It's, it's just a little too big. Like also, just look, he just like stares blankly into space. Also, the horn is the horn that Ben that Kazooie has in the reveal. That's not a kazoo. That doesn't look like a kazoo to me. It's a horn, not a kazoo. Assholes, <laughs> kazoos don't look that big. But uh, yes, but like, yes, I'm oh, nitpicking. Yeah. Leave me alone. I'm really excited. Like I grew up with Banjo Kazooie. I can't. I um, need to see. I need to see the move. I need them. I need them to show and, off a thing of the move yeah, sets. They showed a bunch of the move sets. No, no, no. I need what to see what talking? what buttons map what the buttons map to it. <laughs> I don't care enough. Yeah, it's pretty um, much like the, like what they did like what they did with Joker. Like right, like pretty much. Is, I have a feeling that a Smash Direct's gonna come out before that one comes I, out. Gonna come out with another I mode do, or something. I do like the uh, the little comic online I saw, where Sonic's just like, "Hey, Banjo, can I see that bird again?" And then Banjo just flips him off while still smiling. <laughs> oh, and then there was also the one where uh, Snake sees like him like farting out grenades and shit. And just wants to take the backpack for himself. <laughs> That's gonna be some, right. Right. well. Everybody got their sixty-four fix, so now we can. So now we can say the last character for something else, unless Sakurai wants to throw us throw us a monkey wrench like with the like with the um, piranha yeah. plant thing. It's nice. Like I I enjoyed the fact that. Bender because we came, like got in. So if we're gonna pa- so and now that Dragon we pandered it. Hero is also yeah. So now that we Good pandered everybody, let's go ahead and put Waluigi in it just to finish the pander. Let's to finish off the pandering session while we're like, at it. I do feel that the Dragon Quest Hero is more in it for Japan. Uh huh. I think mm, I think nice. Banjo and Kazooie is the opposite. Is the opposite. <laughs> Yeah, Banjo Kazooie. Banjo Kazooie is definitely like the exact. Well, actually, opposite. I don't know. Like, I'd have to look at sales for Japan for Banjo Kazooie. I don't know. Those are huge bumps. They might have loved them asteroids. just as much, for all we know. Like, eh, I wasn't. Ability, how much you want to bet during that during that one poll where they had where Bayonetta finally showed up? They, that like, let's be on, honest. Shoot, someone like Banjo Kazooie was on it. More, someone like Clouds more for the U.S. than. 
in Japan. I don't know. It might have been for both. Like, Final Fantasy is way more popular in the U.S. than Dragon I Quest. I mean, honestly, uh, like, the, I, I, I'm, I'm a little bit more inclined to say that um, I'm about Banjo-Kazooie than Japan for a couple of reasons. And the, the, the biggest reason is that Japan has this tendency to just, like, not give a fuck about old shit. But sometimes, you know, they like they they have this like they have the tendency to just like move on to like move on to other stuff. And I think it's mostly So Jacques, because... why is it that Fruits Basket got a re 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 release? Oh got a yeah. remake. Um, and Car Captor Sakura came back Car Captor Sakura came back. Yeah, and Full Metal Pan and Full Metal maybe Panic. Maybe they painted the And Legend of the Galactic Heroes. Can I finish my thought before you guys just gotta start saying a bunch of shit? <laughs> Anyways, like a lot, cause like like there's a lot of uh, people in Japan who like after they get older they stop playing games and stop play, like you know like doing a lot of this stuff. Yeah, but that doesn't and... mean that they don't have fond memories. And when they see their kid playing Smash Brothers and playing as Dragon Quest, the main hero from Dragon Quest One, they're not like, oh shit, like I remember that character. I mean that's true, but how much is like, are those how much money are those fond memories making Nintendo? But, they're buying it for their kid, and then they're playing it with their kid. Yeah, who knows what random things they have on the like, Nintendo that's, shop that we That's don't. also why they did things like with the Dragon Quest hero, where you have Dragon Quest XI's hero, Dragon Quest VIII's hero, Dragon Quest IV's hero, mm -hmm. and the original Dragon Quest hero. Like, multiple timelines of heroes, so you can be like, I want to play as the one I remember. Because I remember eight, and, like, because I played nowadays, through eight a lot, so eight's more yeah, nostalgic in my memory. The kids from nowadays would probably be picking more from eight or eleven. Whereas, like, their parents playing would probably pick one or four. Or if you're that diva JRPG enthusiast that you would remember to get four. Remember to pick up I one. I mean, I, I love four. Uh, four is the only one that lets you marry. Some people, a lot, of, and then a lot of people want Kronos to be in the game. Like, no more sword, people. We don't need another Kira Toyama design character in here. We, it's like, oh, yeah, Honestly, suck it, suck it, Goku they fans. They better give freaking, uh, well, no, not, I wouldn't say better. I don't particularly care all that much, but it would make sense for them to... Um, give Sonic a shadow skin. I don't know why they didn't. It doesn't make any In sense. all honesty, because it it would literally just have to be a skin. And then it's a shot. And then you know we've already proven that Sonic can use chaos control. So literally just have fucking Sonic have an emerald in his hand and just throw just use chaos control whatever shadow or the shadow skins on. See see easy fix. Easy fix done. Yeah. So I don't know why they haven't. <laughs> in all honesty, that's one of those weird things. Or at least give them the but, colors. But let's move on. Okay, so other things. So now that we got the Smash crap out of the way, um, Animal Crossing. Animal, Animal Crossing. Crossing. Uh, okay, so more about at least about Animal Crossing afterwards. Be right back while you guys talking about this. Afterwards, freaking, after during the because me and Scott were watching the um, watching the uh, freaking um, Treehouse stuff for Animal Crossing. Crossing. Holy crap! Animal Crossing's turned into a cra turned into a freaking full blown crafting game, and I love it. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, I also just like I love the multiplayer. It looks great. Um, I'm hoping that you can actually like do friends and not just random people online. Mm -hmm. Because uh, a shared town would be nice, but also I know Scott, I know how Scott plays Animal Crossing, which is literally leaving junk scattered everywhere, <laughs> and that drives me insane. The only thing is, though, like since I'm not mayor of this town anymore. I can't just put it into law that the other people have to clean up the town. And, you know, <laughs> uh, that's I, we don't know, well we don't know yet. They haven't said we're not. Which, Maybe by once the, the way, town gets developed, they'll make us mayor and let us do I things. Mean, and they still haven't I really love, developed back uh, yet. The picture that I found online, where it's just like texting your boss, like when he's like, "Where the where are you? I'm on an island." You mean the one I posted on. You know, the one I posted in the Discord. I had, I had a meeting with the. I posted in, at a meeting with the rest of the Islanders. We're about to overthrow the raccoon. Oh, okay. Wait, you posted in the Discord already too? Well. oh crap! I posted yeah. in the Discord too. I didn't notice that. Uh, I yeah. Know. But yeah, it's like, and then also, um, the one thing during the trailer that I did see where you like you could dig up your own roads. I don't have to place down freaking. I don't have to place down artistic. Make another character just to place down artistic maps to make make my own roads yeah. and cut off the gr and pretty much cut down trees and shit and pretty much place only certain parts and. Like so, I can't wait. There's a lot that looks great. Uh, Which, my only problem way, is I hope I don't have to craft another bridge. For, I don't have to craft a bridge myself um, by banging on rocks. Yeah. 
It's like there's some I things mean, about this crafting thing which I'm a little worried about, which is like if I have to craft my own furniture by finding pieces, it's gonna be a bitch and a half. And it's like this is practically practically like Animal Crossing Minecraft, which some people will like, but I'm like, I don't wanna do too much. I won't I don't want Animal Crossing to be mostly a chore. It's already no. a chore in its own right. But literally doing almost everything, turning a shitty little island into an actual functioning town, that makes yeah. sense to me. I could I could work with that. Just don't make me do every single – furnish everything in it because that – make me be the one who builds like everything we'll from see. scratches. We'll see. Like, it'll be very and also, the Also, they kept using the word desert uh, – uh, island and fly and freaking the thing about flying is like, like does that mean we get to fly to a town is this like the town that we build while we live in the town we just interact with shit is this like a multiplayer town or something like the town where you can just do multiplayer shit in and then you can just like constantly keep keep that updated with your multiplayer friends is it a server thing because that'd be weird <laughs> But no, it's not. So, you know, I'm just, I'm confused. I don't know. It's a lot. There's, th this is why the game is being delayed. There's not a lot of information being pushed out about this. That, But I'm still hooked regardless from what little they gave me. Yeah. I can't wait. It's just like, it's, it's Animal Crossing. It looks fantastic. It looks like all of the fun of Animal Crossing. <sighs> and Just then in a new adventure. Like La 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 <laughs> No oh. No. But you know, it's like, like I could place I'm things on the beach. Super excited for I... Animal Crossing. Just... No, the only thing is I didn't see why you <laughs> Isabel wasn't shown off and Scott's a little if, if I don't have my waifu then Scott Isabel's too popular of a character to not be in it. That's why I'm I thinking shall, there's there are parts of this game they're not sending showing us yet. I will build a boat that runs off of fruit, and I will definitely go back home to my wife who because <laughs> being deserted on an island without her just isn't living. Wow, I might dude. as well be dead. Wow, dude. We will kill Tom Nook and use his body as a raft. I'll use his giant ball sack as an inflatable raft. But you know, of course, you know, as soon as I showed him t telling us we owed him money, I kind of, you know, I got triggered. Yeah, I still don't get how we owe him money for labor. <laughs> it's like, we're doing all the work. Why do we owe you money? For the tent? That's retarded. I could have put this tent but, uh But yeah, Animal Crossing looks fantastic. I can't wait to play it. Uh-huh. Um, and then let's also talk about Link's Awakening. Link's Awakening. Holy crap, this game looks amazing. It looks yeah, so amazing. Link's it's the looks... it's like this weird toy. It's like this weird like toy. It's, uh, but it's the like... way he described it was diorama. Diorama. Like, that's it. This diorama. diorama look of it. It looks amazing. The freaking it it, looks it, it's it's like everything my imagination wanted it to look like in in my head and more. From the freaking Game Boy game. Which, like, by the way, it has an amiibo. Of course Wait. it has an amiibo. Thank you. Thank you to a good friend, Hattori Hanzo slash Cuban Slim. Uh, for Who is also our patron. Thank you. For alerting me that that was available for pre-order. So that I was able to get my Crap. Um, I got mine yet last night before I went to work. Or Tuesday night. I gotta do that. I gotta pre-order that and the thing. Crap. Like, I am super excited for it. Me. So, apparently, all of the Legend of Zelda amiibos will be useful in this. Crap. And they are... <laughs> yeah, they're used for the dungeon-making section. Crap. <laughs> yeah. Damn uh, you, amiibos. So... So one of the new things to this game is they took out the Photo Shack from the DX version. Because it makes no sense because we no longer have to use the Game Boy camera. And, yeah, and they threw in uh, Dompe as a Gravekeeper dungeon person. And okay. as you play through the game, you'll unlock different bosses you can fight in different rooms in the dungeons as you play through all the dungeons. Like I can't wait till people amiibos. use bullshit from the la from the from the last dungeon and make f nothing but make a whole entire dungeon yeah. make a whole entire dungeon based on that garbage. But <sighs> what they what you can do is you get bonuses for beating those dungeons that you like. There's special challenges and stuff like that that 
they'll have you do in order to get extra stuff. Mm -hmm. But the Amiibos will add new features to that. The only one they announced so far was the special new Amiibo for Link Solid. Is uh, he throws in Shadow. I have returned. What game are we on? Link's, Link's Awakening. Uh, but, but yeah, it will throw in Shadow Link when you use that amiibo. And by defeating Shadow Link, who will actually follow you through the dungeon, like he appears and chases you through the dungeon, you actually get five, like a shit ton of rupees. Like, shit tons of rupees. No, I, no, I didn't know. I looked at some of the Treehouse stuff about this, but I didn't see anything else that they said that we can share dungeons. Um, yes. They mentioned something about you can challenge your friends to it in order to get, like, it's just for timekeeping. Mm. Um, it'll probably be in some kind of online feature. Mm -hmm. It has to be, because why would you let people make dungeons? About the dungeon I'm not going to make my own dungeon that I'm yes. going to go through. Just to, it's oh, like, yeah, I'm going to make a challenging dungeon just to go through for myself to get extra rupees. It's like, that's not the point. I don't feel the point of that. Well, no, you so. also can get a heart, or... Uh, do not lock heart, all the heart pieces behind this. Do not lock heart pieces. Do not no, lock games also, with heart pieces behind this. <laughs> also showed off that the color dungeon from Link's Awakening DX is in this game. The color dungeon? Yeah, uh, the color dungeon. No. Basically, when Link's Awakening DX came out, no. there was a special dungeon. I remember that. Oh, the color dungeon. I remember that. Because the game was now in color. Mm -hmm. So it was a novel thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So that's oh, why, why is Julian making whiny bitch noises? Because the color dungeon was annoying. No. <laughs> the color dungeon was yeah, annoying. Not bad. Huh? It's not that bad. You know, when when you hadn't played Link's Awakening, when when you're a person who hadn't played Link's Awakening since over a decade, you know, of course it was gonna be difficult. <laughs> but uh but yeah, like I'm really looking forward to Link's Awakening on the Switch. Can we get my Pegasus Unfortunately boots that collector's edition isn't coming to the US. Which is very unfortunate because I wanted that steelbook case. Uh huh. As much as I don't why, why like steelbook, it's not. Fucking, people like, fucking love Zelda here. Yeah, but it's in like Europe. Um, what? Europe, it... Europe and Mexico, I think. What? Uh, well, I'm well just... like, yeah, we get the one with the art book, but we don't get the one with the steelbook case. I'm sorry. It's just like, like whenever I hear stuff like this. Like, I, I I gotta know the, the thoughts behind this. This, had to, the, this decisions like this had to make sense of some fucking body for them to have made it. And and it's like, and then I want to talk to that person. It's just like, how? I don't know. Maybe they don't have as many scalp. Maybe they don't have many fucking scalpers in those countries. Perhaps. I don't know, but I want that still book case. Well, they also technically do it in a lot of other countries that it doesn't sell as well in order to try and promote sales of it. Mm-hmm. I remember. I think um, this. I think there was a special edition for some, for some for one of the games I wanted. That literally, it's like they only gave it to freaking Europe. Yeah, there's been a few like that. It's like here, it's uh, this. We don't get this. Why? Because so we're also... being punished for buying your product. Yes. Well, well, that also, you. also that well, well, Nintendo's well, Nintendo's mean, they... done this with Pokemon too. Um, freaking. A certain yeah. Pokemon called Pavilion, you have to get it from certain regions, which means you have to actually, which means forces people from other places to actually communicate and trade Pokemon with each other. Yeah. Or you could just hack the game and pretty much just get them and just get and you just just have a bunch of pavilions, hack the game. The pavilions will no longer be yours, but they will have all the different colors on them. So. <laughs> And it's a trade pavilion, that means it levels up faster, and you'd have to be practically terrible to actually let the thing make it to the point where it disobeys you. Yeah, because but people have traded Pokemon that don't listen to them. It's like, yeah, because you suck, and you somehow trained the only Pokemon that liter you decided to train the one Pokemon that you got from a trade. See, that's what, that's what Ash's problem was. But, he trained the, the Charizard. He only used I'm... Charmander too much, and it didn't listen. Yeah. Well, even once he had all the gym badges, he didn't listen. But... No, we didn't Well, we didn't establish in that the gym badges make them do it. Not like the manga where pretty much like the gym case actually does, actually makes, um, admits some fucking energy thing that makes them listen. <laughs> yeah. We also had Breath of the Wild 2 get announced. In development. Steven's like, it's going to be awesome. Like, Steven, it's like, Steven, I'm it's like, I assume this is in debating development. debating how I feel about that, considering, like, I wasn't the biggest fan of Breath of the Wild, but my thing is just i'd rather see a 
a new Zelda game. Like New Legend of Zelda. Link. Than just oh, it's Breath of the Wild too. Hey Link, you're back. Uh, you're can back we talk early. About how creepy that freaking trailer was, by the way, with the playing the music and ba- backwards and shit. It's like, what the fuck is this Majora's Mask or something? Well, What's maybe. Going maybe on here? Well, maybe. Who knows? Um, for... <laughs> what did you say? Basement's haunted. Basement. Wait, what? The link. Basement's haunted. Basement. <laughs> <laughs> that comic's hilarious. I'm like, yes, it was just great. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, that was kind. Of, that thing was. Kind of, it's like that thing was kind of cre- kind of gross looking. I was like creepy. It was just gross. It's gross. All yeah, dark um, and bleak. Probably and... Ganon. Definitely likely, likely to be Ganon. Or maybe it's Majora. <laughs> no. <laughs> A man can Majora. dream. <laughs> but like again. I mean, I'm still processing how I feel about just, oh, it's Breath of the Wild. I forgot where people theorize where Breath of the Wild takes place in the timeline. What do you mean theorize? They I mean, officially they, they, they now. Came, it came out after the book, so it's not official yet, is it? Someone's it's already said so. Like, they announced it. It, it came out before... Uh, Breath of the Wild comes out before... Um, uh, if I believe correctly, it even comes out before. Frick- I think it's like after Scott, right after Skyward Sword, or before. It's like right after Skyward Sword or before. I don't know. For some reason, they have tablets. No, I think it's. Wait, uh, no, can't remember. Because Ganon, di- the concept of Ganon shouldn't exist till after Skyward Sword. Because, because yeah, that was the because the Triforce tri- because the tri- because literally the Triforce technically was the tri the the Triforce dynamic wasn't started until after Skyward Sword. Because it's yeah. like, as long as the two, the, the ones of courage, the one, as long as the one of courage and wisdom exists, the one of power will oppose them. So essentially, Calamity Ganon should be that one because they never introduced the, the, what they never had the one of power unless it's its own separate timeline. Wait! Itself, unless it splits off into its own yeah, separate timeline. Yeah, that's its own right. Mind. Let's call them. That, that, actually, it's interesting. I just realized something because it wasn't the villain of the... Uh, uh... The first Skyward Sword, Calamity Ganon, Ganon, no. but the no, it's th- no, it's demise. No, yeah, it's the demise. It's the demise. The demise. Yes, Wait. it's the demise, which also takes form of a giant of a giant mouth, evil mouth creature called the Corrupted with derpy legs. Okay, so that's the so it's the giant pig one, basically. No, Wait, no, no, the giant pig one's the Legend of Zelda. Yeah, that's Oc- that's the original uh, Legend of Zelda, the... and then Ocarina of Time. He also turns into that version later, mm-hmm. and also. Oh, uh, and also the pig- I don't know because like well I was watching a video where they were laying out that in some timelines is he the giant pig and other timelines he's like more human. Only times he's the giant pig is in um is in Legend of Zelda, Legend of Zelda one one um link the link to the past um, Ocarina of Time uh, in the second phase. Ocarina of Time in the second phase. Uh, he also takes that form in um. He it pseudo takes that form and link in a link between worlds with freaking y- G- Yuga Ganon and he somewhat takes it in Twilight Princess when he turns into a, like a full warthog type. Stuff. Mm-hmm. But he like never takes. But that's the only times I can remember he takes that pig form. All the other times he's, um, and we don't count puppet Ganon because that's just a puppet. No, because technically in Ocarina of Time he was born into the Gerudo, like society. Mm-hmm. The other times he's just an evil pig wizard man. <laughs> he's an evil. Wi- he's a. He's a just the. You know, it's like Scott w- Wind Waker Ganon supposed to be the original. Ga- it's supposed to be uh, Ocarina of Times Ganon just come back. Yep. And um, so is uh, Twilight Princess. Yes, the yeah. Majora's Mask. We didn't have one. Mm-hmm. Ganon wasn't. Yeah, so mm-hmm. pretty much, and then all the other ones are just the are just the the Triforce of Power opposing them as an evil pigman. Yep. Huh. Okay. Or yeah. or um uh, fucking I forget I can't remember Oracle uh, the Oracle games. The Oracle games didn't really use the Triforce, so it's okay. <laughs> no, they basically had like some random people. Mm-hmm. I mean, Ganon showed up uh, after you beat both, connected it. But yeah, I but they never. But the Triforce is never a big deal yet. It wasn't a big deal in those timelines. Not as much. Not as much. 
Like, Jack, just look at the book. <laughs> or look, you know, look it up on a wiki or something. Look up on the Zelda wiki. Those nerds know something by now. Those nerds have an idea. Which, by the way, uh, let's talk about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 for a few minutes. Yeah. I, found, I found the entire release roster. You did? Is it a leak or a rumor? Is it a leak, a rumor, a official? Uh, someone took a picture of the screen from the demo at E3. Wow. <laughs> okay. Um, I'm still. So we have Black Panther. Okay. It's, uh, Wasp. Okay. Hawkeye. Okay. Black Widow. Mm -hmm. Hey, we got Hawkeye made it after all, Scott. There you go. Yep. Falcon. Mm hmm. Captain America, mm -hmm. Iron Man, mm -hmm. Thor, mm -hmm. Hulk, mm -hmm. Daredevil, yep. Elektra, Ugh. Storm, Psylocke, Wolverine. What the hell is with all the Psylocke love? <laughs> uh, Psylocke's great. It's one of my favorite mutants. Ugh, that's uh, only everyone's Scott's favorite mutant because her boobs are ginormous, bigger than her fucking head. No, I like her because her her ass is hanging out. But that too. <laughs> um, Which is also bigger than her head. Let's see. We also have Groot and Rocket as a combo. Of course. Star Lord, Gamora, Drax. Um. Jean Grey. Luke Cage. Iron Fist. Magneto. Uh, Nightcrawler. Deadpool. Venom. Spider Gwen. Miles Morales, <laughs> Peter, uh, Captain Marvel, Peter Porker, yeah, huh, that's uh, good, like. uh, Doctor Strange, Ghost Rider, and someone I don't recognize. Uh, describe what they look like. It's only a face. Uh, girl, she's got like blondish hair. Here, Scott. Why must you hurt me this way? Julian, uh, send me the. Uh, uh, oh God! No, oh, <laughs> because I can. Scott, we're not supposed there to. There you go, Julian. God that damn it, Jack, You're not supposed to react to things. Is it? Is it? Who? Is that um? I don't know. Is that Dazzle? I don't know who that is. Looks like Dazzle. <laughs> Oh wait, no, 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 no! That's the chick. That's the. Uh, oh wait, no, that's the chick from one of the Marvel things. That actually, I recognize the way she looks, but I can't remember what comic book she's from. It's something recent. It's something that I for totally forgot about. It's something because clearly it looks like it has something to do with um, the Doctor Strange and uh, somewhere. I think it's a Doctor Strange character. I'm not 100 percent positive. I can't remember. I actually don't know who that is. Uh, I recognize her, but I've only recognized her once, and that's it. Um, so yeah. Uh, that's, a, you know, like, that's an interesting draw. Uh, and then it was also announced the Marvel Knights here. and Marvel Knights, more X Men, and Fantastic Four are coming as DLC. Did someone say Moon Knight? No, Marvel Knights. Did someone say Moon Knight? Sure. <laughs> I, I want Moon Knight. Yeah. Um, Rainbow Man, Speedball. It it looks okay. It's definitely something I'll pick up eventually. I will pick it up day one. Cool. Oh, day one. I I will probably not be paying sixty dollars for it. <laughs> okay. Um. So let's talk about the game that Jock li that Jock liked. Astral Chains. Astral Chain was cool. I'm, I'm looking forward to, to, uh, try, to playing that game. You mean robot Pokemon? Go you mean robot Pokemon game? Robot Pokemon Ranger? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <I'm good. laughs> robot Pokemon Ranger. Uh, but you know, it the story and the characters look kind of generic, but the robots look interesting. They do. Um, there's uh, Demon X Machina still is a thing that looks interesting. Fucking Nintendo just like, oh, this is a good thing I want to get. Oh, yeah, let's talk about how they brought, how Sega, or at least how Sega allowed Panzer Dragoon to come back into existence. Yeah. yeah <laughs> Freaking hell. I never thought I'd see the day where Panzer is, Dragoon. Back. It's like, Sega, why are you suddenly caring about all these, all your old IPs that you have been letting rot in a corner somewhere? For uh, Sakura, maybe, War, for Sakura Wars, now Fan. For Sakura Wars, getting a Western, getting a new, the new Sakura game, getting a Western release. They're bringing PSO Panzer Dragon. 
What's next? Are we getting a new Ristar game? That'd be cool. Another, you know, I, you know, to be honest, I'd like a um, new, I'd like a new um, um, Space Channel Five game. Oh yeah, let's not forget another, how they re-released freaking another Jet Set Resident, Radio would be great. How they re-released Resonance of Fate on a- HD ver- HD version, freaking shit. It's like yeah, I would I would really love uh, a really nice like remake of Jet Set Radio or or, or you know new- get you know we could make a Virtual Fighter game that's not that's not that's not boring. Mm, that's uh, that sounds pretty like tough. War. That or put them back or that or put them back in DOA. But the entire mm-hmm. roster of Virtual Fighter, like all six of them, that uh, most people remember because no one remembers. I think characters. DOA is better without them. <laughs> DOA five. Oh. It didn't hurt DOA five to have them in it. I think they're better without them. No, they're no. Nah, it needs more. No, nah, I could use more people. It could use more characters. Who cares? It's not, it didn't break the dynamics. Or make Project Cross or you know come up with a Project Cross Zone three. Get let's get on that. Let's get on that. No, don't but the don't. But three DS is dead, Julie. No one said they couldn't make a Switch game. I don't know. It actually really used both screens, though. Did it? I rarely used the bottom. I didn't use the bottom screen that much for stuff, except for like, check, except for checking stats on freaking enemies. And yeah, the, the bottom screen, screen. And the only other thing the bottom screen told me was the moves, was the move sets I could use. Which, like, once you played the characters enough, you already know what their move sets are. Yeah, but that was once you played them enough. Like once. Are you, it's like uh, pretty much all you need to know is it's like what use it. It's like while. use the move that's not highlighted, and then you could to keep the damage combo going. I don't know. Like, It'd be interesting Cross, to see. Yeah, because Project Cross is not that hard to figure out because they managed to do it. As long as I don't go back to the Namco Cross, the Namco Cross Capcom version of the of the gameplay, because that game, because as much as I would love to play that game, the gameplay is terrible. I own it. It's trust me. If you actually played it, you'll be like, okay, why do they do? It's like, why do these characters do this movement? Why do these characters do this movement? What's the point of this? The supers are stupid. The supers don't make any sense. Literally, intelligent systems getting go, going in and pretty much making the making the gameplay better by using some of the uh, using some of the stuff they got from uh um super robot type super robot wars original original trilogy made it better. Original, original made it better. So it's freaking, oh my god, that game needed that. Literally, if they didn't take the stuff from Endless, from Endless Frontier, that game would have suffered. But, yeah. eh, but you know, eh, you know, let's start. Bring, you know, Sega, bring back more IPs. More IPs, keep this up, please, because I, you have a lot. Of, you I know, bring back, really bring, please bring back. IP. Um, of all of them, I really. Really, 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 really want Power Stone to come back, or at least the HD collect, or at least the remake. Not a remake, at least like pet port them over something. Don't let Power just, Stone die. Like, put the PSP version on, on the Switch, and I'd be happy. Exactly. Like give a give a give, just give us Power Stone. Um, Ugh. what else was at Nintendo's E3? Ah, Luigi's Mansion Three. Oh yeah. Looks better than two. Looks better I'll than probably two. actually play it again. Because I like number one, but I didn't like two. I'm sorry that you felt that way. Number two just had you repeating a lot of areas over and over and over and over again without like anything new. Mm. Okay, let's see here. My only. Um, yeah, it looks interesting. Also, Goo Luigi. Just, no, no. Goo Luigi, no. No, Luigi. No. Luigi. Julian, Julian's favorite man. No, shut it. Um, Julian's like, oh, yeah. he was supposed to. Be- uh, they're bringing the Last Remnant remastered onto the Switch. Why? 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 Last Remnant's terrible. Why won't they let this die? <laughs> well, I'm kind of curious. I play I, the game. I haven't played is Infinite Discoveries yet. That's the only off Square Enix game that I haven't touched. The off Square Enix RPG thing came I haven't touched because I've played Star Oceans, I played your Star Oceans, I played your freaking, um, I played your freaking um other uh your Trials of Mana and stuff, your Mana games and your Dragon Quest games and stuff like that. But that's the only series I've never touched. That's the only game I never touched. Uh, freaking um, let's see what else I came. That. I didn't play the the other one. 
Um, oh, oh crap! How did I, I actually wait? Did they say it was coming out with the Switch? Because I forgot to talk about this game, the Romancing Saga series. They're bringing, oh, they're bringing yeah. romantic, they're bringing back the Romancing Saga series, and because I was I'm looking at um, really excited for that. I was looking at the Trials of Mana collection coming out to the Switch, which fucking hell yes, and then also the new, the new um, yes, the second Densetsu series coming out to Switch is really nice. <sighs> Let's see what other Switch games that um uh, they talked about. They had a little fl- thing, God the Monsters. That was a thing that they flashed along with Super Lucky, ta- Super Lucky's Tale, and. Um, what was the other game? And how they're getting a Switch port of Dark Dead by Daylight. Um, oh yeah, yeah the Dark it, Crystal Age of Re- Resistance. Was that a that game? Remember that? The Dark Crystal game, the one that you, yeah. you and me were giving Jacques shit, <laughs> giving Jacques shit for. <laughs> yeah, for not knowing it was Dark Crystal. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. That, that, okay. Because, uh, you know, shock is just out of touch. Like, it, out of touch. Has no idea what he's doing. I didn't watch a lot of stuff as a kid. So, like, sue me. I mean, I didn't watch Dark Crystal as a kid. I did. But I know what Dark Crystal is. Like, I recognize everything about it. I knew about it. Good for you, Julian. Ah, uh, yes, good for Wait, you. Wait, Would you like a cookie? Yes, I do it. Yes, I would. I or want two that. Two fucking bag. <laughs> Did Sega release a Sega Genesis controller? A wireless Sega Genesis controller? It... No, okay. It's for the Sega. It's for the Sega Retro... Ages collection thingy. Yeah, Retrovid put out a thing about it. Okay. Um, see person, let's see. They talked about. They gave a new trailer for Super Mario Maker two, but we already knew plenty about that. Hey, yeah, which get, uh, by the way, off. they also announced. They also announced online multiplayer will be coming to it as part of an update. Yep. Yeah, um. They see? announced the remake of Resident Evil three four. F- f- I mean, Resident Evil. The Resident Evil remake of one, and also how they're releasing five and six for the Switch. Yeah. And No More Heroes three. Well, Resident Evil 1's already out on the Switch. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, Resident Evil... But... Yeah, but they're bringing over... Yeah, yeah. there's no more Heroes 3. They're bringing over uh, 5 and all that. Mm-hmm. No More Heroes 3 was a surprise for a lot of people. I saw a lot of people get... No, more, Hero- no more Heroes 3 is, like, one of the greatest things to be announced there. They, I still need more details of... I, you know, for how close Fire Emblem Three Houses is coming out, there's still not a lot of details about it, which scares me. Yeah, it comes out next month. It comes out next month, unless they're gonna have a random direct for it. Uh, hello, <laughs> you you guys aren't, doesn't seem like you're building this game up very well. I'm, I'm scared because right now all I see is the school stuff, and no, I haven't seen stuff about them on battle uh, gameplay of them on the battlefield in a minute. I didn't see unless they're doing stuff about it on, during. The treehouse, which is still going on right now. Oh God, is it? Yes. Fair. It's on day two. Yeah, or no, day three it's now. Day three. They're still, go- you know, Nintendo goes. W- Nintendo keeps their treehouse stuff going after even after E three. They have a separate. I think technically their venue is separate. What are you talking about? E three started Monday. Uh huh. No, like their their coverage keeps the going. The press conferences are all pre E three. All right, I forgot. I forgot. The press conferences aren't at E3, other than Nintendo's. Yeah, like they were all pre E3. Uh, yeah, so they're still so literally that's... going on this whole week. Oh well, the week's almost over. It's Thursday. Yeah, but uh, they okay. So what else did they release? The Pokemon Sword and Shield, the new the new gym trainer for that, which you know, of course, just yeah, smut uh, explosion. The... Smut explosion. And also black, and also <laughs> random, and also black nerds being like, "Thank you, Pokemon, for all these random bunch of black people, black black brown skinned so, people." But it's like that person's Hawaiian, that person's Hawaiian, that person's Hawaii, that person. These people are supposed to be Samoan, so that doesn't make any sense. These doesn't make any sense. This person's clearly some kind. Of, it's like, and the freaking guy who's supposed to be the best, the 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 freaking um, what you call it, the uh, the champion. It's like okay, he doesn't look. He doesn't look necessarily like he's supposed to be black either, like specifically black. It's just he's brown skinned. 
like that could be any thing you just like you got it's like stop it stop it stop it black stop it random black nerds you don't have to have not every single brown skinned person is black it's like there's there's or, a, a variety of pokemon for a while you just don't have to you don't have to sit here and like constantly pra- constantly only praise it it's very, like especially like a, like Mako like like I'm oh, not Mako I call him Mako because that's what he fucking is. That's what he fucking is. It might be Mako Tsunami, uh, the one gym, the one water gym trainer from Black and White Two. It's like he, he, it's like he's an Islander. Clearly, he's, he's an Islander. He's Samo- It's a Samoan. Per- it's supposed to be like an Islander person, like so, like Samoan or something, Samoan or Indonesian or something like that. Come on, you guys, let it go. But no, the new the new water type gym gym leader is. Freaking hot! Yes, she is gorgeous. I mean, yeah, she is gorgeous. She reminds me of the of the chick from Team Ar- the chick from Team Aqua when they remade um uh oh my Ruby, oh when they made Ruby and Sapphire, she was gorgeous. She had a lot of double sided tape though, because I don't think any of those clothes would have stayed on without it. <laughs> or um, would you? no? Or what? Uh, Cadence of Hyrule looks interesting, but it's not for me because it's mostly rhythm based. And... It's not for me because I suck at rhythm. I don't suck at so... rhythm. I just don't. I just don't want to have to play a game where I have to rely on it because that means I can't do anything else besides listening to what I'm doing. I think it looks cool. Um, don't know if it's something that I would want to get. I don't. I don't really fuck around with a lot of. I don't really fuck around with a lot of roguelike things. Oh and... yeah, and there. Um, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Keep going. Uh, I don't really fuck around with like a lot of roguelikes, and at the same time, um, <clears throat> I you know just not gen- I, like I don't know, I don't, I'm not really a gen- player of like rhythm games, but I like the concept a lot. So I don't know. I get a switch, I might just pick it up, but we'll see. Yeah, it looks oh, cool. I like it. And the last game that I can that I have on here on my list is Mario and Sonic at the Olympic Games Tokyo. Really looking forward to that. Hopefully yes, I, it doesn't suck. And the characters actually <laughs> dress in other things besides their normal costumes. <laughs> well, the girls would dress in like sports gear, but the, wait, then, you know, it's like, what are they going to do? What do you want to do? Peach to swim around in a dress instead of a, instead of a one piece? I don't think so. <laughs> Come no. on. Come on, you guys. And then uh, we'll see if they actually put, if they try to put a sto- they try to actually do a story mode type thing or not. They, Cause they don't mode thing or not this time. Freaking, um, a lot of people are going crazy about Eggman and a freaking, and a freaking karate gear. It's like, what? Uh, <laughs> what do you mean? People are also going crazy about shirtless Eggman during the swimming thing where he's in like a Speedo. Yeah, it's fucking weird. It's like, what? It's like, I did not know that so many people thought Eggman was hot. This is strange. <laughs> strange for me. Yeah, that's 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 new. That's fucking news to me. What the fuck? Okay. Okay. Now that we got now now that we gone through all the press conferences, okay, time for people's E3 final thoughts. Jock, you go first. Final thoughts? Yes. Yeah. Um, didn't have like a bunch of games I was looking forward to this year, but for like the ones I am looking forward to. Uh, oh, we didn't actually mention it. I, for- I forgot to mention it. But, like, um, so, I don't know. Like, but this is probably one I'm looking forward to the least, considering the fact that I obsessed over it on PS4. Uh, but Spyro coming to the Switch, it means it's like fucking playing Spyro on the go sounds fucking awesome. So, um, you know, yeah. that's one thing that I'm looking forward to. As long as the frame rates don't drop. <laughs> yeah, hope so. I hope, hope that doesn't happen. Um, then, like, of course, I'm looking forward to, I'm looking forward to the new Tales of Game. Um, whenever I find out more about that from software game, I'll you know I'll be that that'd be cool. Honestly, as far as games that I'm looking forward to, the absolute most would probably be Dragon Quest Builders Two because it's coming out soon. I um, already have the system for it, and it's like looks like something. It, it looks like um what I really wanted. Always really kind of craft. Where it's just like, oh, because like a lot of times I'd be playing Minecraft and it's like, yeah, this is cool and fun and all, but I kind of want more to do. You know, like, you kind of run, you know, you kind of get sick of just like fucking digging and building constantly and just like, I want to fight something. I want to like, like, oh, now you do. Forest. Huh? Oh, now you do. <laughs> I mean, I've been used to, I used to, I, I used to get tired of it all, all, all the time. Remember, that's why I was wanting to go to mansions and shit and mansions and find like underwater castles and shit because I was like the only thing. That really like spiced up the game for me. And well, you own the wrong. Well, so you've been owning the wrong after, version for years. No, 
after just so you know you can't do stuff like that in builders but what you can't, like, do you stuff can't like build what? underwater things oh you can't build things underwater i mean no. that's fine i'm not building underwater i'm talking about buildings like... also require things like you know roofs to be livable Okay. Oh, well, I mean, like, I'll I'll get used to the differences. I mean, honestly, maybe you should. Maybe my biggest you should, thing is, really think with, you should get the first like, one before you. I'm looking go, forward you to uh, on Dragon one. Quest Builders, is like something that I really wanted for Minecraft, where it's just like I'm in a forest. Next, thing you know, what's this big ass castle with these enemies in it? You know, the Jack, enemies I'm are serious. You should get. I seriously think you should get the first one before you make a final decision. Yeah, I would. Before you spend sixty dollars on the first one, spend twenty or second one, spend twenty dollars on the first one. You should really go get the first one. Um, I don't. Yeah, I, mean, I don't want because I'm not a hundred percent. I'm not a hundred percent on what I played, but I don't want to burst your boat. But I, could I, I feel like I, I feel like your your expectations are a little higher than that than what they are. What the game. I mean, I like the game, but it's definitely not like my favorite game. But, you know, but I mean, it's one of the things I'm looking forward to the most. Uh, oh, looking forward to the Kingdom Hearts DLC. Well, well that's a, well, that's obvious. If you weren't looking forward to the Kingdom Hearts DLC, I'd have to think about your lazy gaming guys' um credentials, Jacques, because you know it sounds like you don't like Kingdom Hearts as much as you should. Okay. Anyways, um. Ah man, I would, I would like to. I wanted to get into Domo Heroes. I just, I really did, but I never. Fucking got into it. So, um, such a sad, pathetic existence you live. How in the heck? It's like no more hero. It's like I don't. I never actually played the games, but the characters are interesting. No more no, heroes. No, 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 no. What I mean, is like I, I, I can't, I'm not gonna jump into three, and I haven't played like one or two. You know? You oh, can, really? Right? You were perfectly, you were perfectly fine doing that with Kingdom Hearts. I was 19, and my friend convinced me to. I didn't even know those were episodic games. What would that happen? <laughs> I didn't even know. The, I didn't even know that. I didn't even know those games were connected like that. Shameful. And then you started playing the game. And then you I started knew, playing the game. And then they nothing. started talking about. It. And then when they start talking about stuff from previous games, and literally the in the I, I three hour long I tutorial, I literally knew. I literally knew nothing about Kingdom Hearts before playing Kingdom Hearts Two. You know. Anyway. Knew nothing. Anyway. And my friend kept pushing me to to play more. Anyway. <laughs> freaking. Anyway. Ugh, freaking Scott, why don't you go ahead and start your final thoughts? Okay, so my final thoughts are, like, yeah, I think next year is going to be a really good year for gaming, at least for me. Uh, oh, there's going to be so broke. Quite a lot that was announced that I am super looking forward to. Everything from Animal Crossing to Psychonauts 2 to, you know, uh, Ghost Wire and God, there's freaking a lot. And then there's a few that I'm still looking forward to hearing more details about, or still more on the fence. But yeah, like I'm actually like really hyped. D3 was really good for me. I think it'll be fun. Hmm. Okay. So I guess it's my turn now. All right. So E3. Literally, it's like this was a this, this E3 was kind of a roller coaster of freaking trying to fit of it just hype. Yeah, hype. Yeah. <laughs> just like it couldn't make up its mind whether it want. It's like at certain points it was like nothing really happening or everything's happening. I enjoyed the Xbox press conference for the first time in years. Not because yeah, I, I, think I, I enjoyed. I think I enjoyed like the press conference from two years ago a little bit more. Uh, well, you know what? I, I I can't say that because sometimes the the talking head people get annoying, and Xbox is slowly get, as Xbox is finally under last two years as they've understood that they need to stop that so, yeah you know, I nothing, mean, ruins I a, nothing ruins a hype nothing ruins a hype train than having like, someone come out on stage and tell them about stupid shit that no one square really, that's enix, not really that interesting like square enix had the best setup because it was just like trailer 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 this one we had a trailer and then we had a few people talk about it for a little bit and then trailer 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 like exactly it was mostly just trailers and gameplay and stuff like that versus having not against people coming out on stage hour. and talking because you know when they don't do it it makes it confusing like in sony's last year but, yeah but you know at the same time it's like you know just get you know it's like this is you know for 
this is for the people, you know, this presentation for most of the, for the people at home. Just throw out the hype machines. Just turn on the hype yeah. machines and let and let the and let your just t- just to turn on the hype machine and let like, the show you and do the rest. And if you like can get actual people to do to get... the, the build up hype, good for you because actual people can do a good job of building up hype. Like I think for the most part that the whole point of you know this is just to try and sell your systems for next year when these games are coming out. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like, the, yeah, so pretty much. Um, season, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, this game's coming out next year. I want to play." This, this year's E3 up. pretty much has solidified the fact that I'm going to be broke for for the foreseeable future. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much starting next month apparently because next month begins me buying video games again. Freaking with, sh- you know, sh- showing off Shadow with Shadowbringers and Fire Emblem, and then fucking in August oh, the nose. <laughs> one last thing that uh, I saw that was announced at E3 is like a minor announcement. Mm-hmm. Is uh, if anyone knows about the game Catherine and how it's going. Oh yeah. Game. Oh, you mean the thing that they announced literally yesterday? Uh, the, the fact that the Persona Five characters are DLC. Yes, you can. In yes, they showed off. They showed off Joker gameplay today, and that was interesting. Yeah, it's like um, is if I think Catherine would be a lot more interesting if I could have sort of five music playing in the background. Well, and uh, <laughs> Catherine Full Body Edition also caters to people that can solve the puzzles and people that just want the story. Um, you can make it into a visual novel. You can skip every puzzle. Oh huh. my god, that's huh. amazing! But I don't care about so... Catherine enough about that. So yeah, if you actually just want the story, you can. And if you just want the puzzles, you can. You know, I have to. But, or if you want both, you can. But we have. Like, but even though apparently I have to, because you know Catherine's connected to the Persona universe, but I don't really have to follow that. I don't need to because it hasn't. Because none of these. Because unless you see, you ca- unless you see the main character from Catherine pop up a Persona in another Persona Q but, game, there's no point to it. But Julian and Catherine Full Body Edition on PS4 and Xbox One. You can romance a trap character. So, <laughs> so even though she looks like the mo- she's the most adorable character in the entire cast, and it's like, and it's like, huh? Well, I'm okay <laughs> with this for once. It's the only trap character I've ever been okay with in a long time. It's like I'm okay with that. I am okay with. I this. like the pink. She has, she has a, she, her, she's, 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 she looks gorgeous. She's adorable. It's like ugh, I can't help. I just like I, I don't care. If she had a penis but. at one point, or still does. <laughs> No, she still does. Okay, then. Who cares? I do not care. Supposedly, do not she care. Still I'm just gonna, it's gonna, you know, I'm just like, excuse me, honey. I'm just gonna put some tape right there. There we go. <laughs> oh, <laughs> put a paper bag over it. You know, I just put a paper bag no, over I it. <laughs> it's like, let's put a paper bag over it. Okay, it's my turn. No, you don't get a turn, sweetheart. <laughs> you don't get a turn. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Julian would definitely be like, okay, and just turns around. I don't know, Jacques. If you, I don't know, Jacques. Do you want some little Twinkie boy giving you, you know, giving you the business? Um, That's what I thought. That's what I thought. No. Typical top. Typical top. Ugh, anyway, um, I have a name. Ugh. Huh? No, you don't. Huh? <laughs> Bitch, top baby. Okay, there you go. Anyway, freaking. But my overall thoughts of E3. <sighs> you did your job. You got me. To, you got me to want my wallet to go broke in every system I own. <sighs> Sweet Jesus, because you know, if it wasn't for the fact that some of these games are multi-platform, I might not have had a Sony game to freaking get excited about. Yeah, like you know, I. And also, yeah, Sony. I don't know excited. why you think you end up have to make your own venue for this crap. You know, I don't think this is the best investment for you guys because I watch State of Play and I don't remember shit about that. <laughs> you know, Nintendo. Of course, they're gonna do their own thing because Nintendo is gonna make money. We're gonna make money off most people, regardless, anyway. Because they have enough. I, they have enough of their own IPs to make money and to be able to do this shit. So Microsoft doesn't do that. Microsoft's not dumb enough to freaking step out of this. They kept. They're gonna keep their shit going because they know that this is what's gonna. That literally, they come up with their own random thing. It's not gonna make as much. Not gonna generate as much hype for their video games. For their exclusive video games. It's like they it's like they showed me their exclusivity this year. I don't know any I've forgotten a lot of PlayStation exclusivity things because you don't because you're not advertising them in the one place I'm actually gonna care and give a shit. Unless you're gonna have some random Sony I mean, experience with, with in, in some kind of in, in a convention center somewhere, 
you got to step it. You got to get back in the, you got to play the game, you guys. See, I still think E3 could probably go the way of the Dodo and it wouldn't really matter all that much. Yeah, like honestly, E3 looks like it is about to go the way. I don't, I don't think it will fully yet. So, but no, most likely, what will, what, most likely, what will happen if, that, like, if anything are, happens to E three, uh, it's gonna go back to being a, um, a um media type thing rather than a rather than the well, hype machine you, that you it's become. It's, I mean, it started as a free thing to the public, just like the Tokyo Game Show, and then it became oh nope, only media people, and then after a few, and that was only in the mid two thousand. But so now. Anybody Only could be now any random Joe Schmo who could be a media thing. Technically, doing this podcast makes us a media thing. Yeah, but you're not getting. Yeah, once we get, once we not, get a big, uh, if we get a big enough following. No, but technically, if we set up a, if we set it up as a, but technically, if we set up as a business, we could be media. I mean, remember how we got into Mega MetroCon yeah. for free? <laughs> That's because MetroCon had lower standards than E3. Exactly, but you know, I'm just saying. MetroCon doesn't have people from like you know Nintendo and New York Times and everything else showing up over there. But a lot of people can, but you know, it's still a lot of people still can set themselves up for no, me, the try to get media. Now, get there's like levels of media passes people can get for E3 though. So. But there's uh, you can buy tickets to E3 now. Yeah, so there's no point They're to get levels of media. I mean, it's like a thousand dollars, but you can buy it. <laughs> no, ha, no, just to stand it. No, if I'm gonna stand in line for something, I'll go to Disneyland. Thank you. But it's one of those things that, honestly, I could see the major companies just doing like a little conference on their own every year, not at E3, and still be fine. I mean, Nintendo for the most part just does their Nintendo Directs all the time. Yeah, doing out shit. Just and it works like, just fine. Mm-hmm. They even do one for in, they even did one for indie games. Stephen didn't like that one. Yeah, and it's but, like <laughs> I, you know, it's like. So I mean, I, I can I see it. that becoming more of the way of the future. Is just like you know, Nintendo with their Nintendo Directs, Sony with the State of Play, and then Microsoft coming up with their own, and that just being how major games are announced, rather than doing an E3 press conference. I could be wrong. I mean, obviously, I'm not all knowing. Yeah, and I, and we're never we're not time, actually there point. knowing how media how media outlets how the media outlets make money off these things. Like that's what I see as probable. Um, I will also say that I am very disappointed that the Kill uh, Kill game did not get any coverage, considering it comes out in a few months. <laughs> oh, Scott! It's anime game. It's an anime game. Unless it's Dragon Ball Z, usually most unless Dragon Ball Z, most people don't talk about it. Which is a shame. Which be real? Unless it's super, unless it's Dragon Ball, because you know, unless it's Dragon Ball Z, it's like it's not gonna get a lot, of, get a lot of flack, because you know they're playing anime games that didn't get in, that didn't have any um, presence. Cause, Fine. well, because half the time, yeah. most, most of the time, the anime games are mediocre and lame. Well, I mean, most of the time, the anime games are... They're geared towards the fans of the animes. Mm -hmm. Like, let's be honest here. Most of these anime games aren't going to make you a fan if you weren't already. Mm -hmm. Like, playing the My Hero Academia 1 Justice, yeah, it's great if you're a fan of My Hero. Yeah, but even as a fan of My Hero, you get bored after a while because I've already done this shit before. I mean, I like it. (laughs) I didn't hate it. It's just that it got... It's just, you know, it's like when you've played... Dragon Ball Z and Naruto games. So as long as we have, it's kind of hard for that game to that game's little unique features to really keep you invested. Uh, I mean, most Naruto games don't keep me invested at this point. Uh, it's because it, it's because you don't have. It's also because I live with a Naruto, so it didn't help. Well, the problem is that, like, Xenoverse Two at least was smart enough to keep updating and evolving. Mm-hmm. Like they're like, hey, here's more stuff. Hey, here's more stuff. Technically, that's what Versus... Naruto Shinobi Striker should have done. I mean, that's it what they are. Been, it should have just been a freaking. It should have just been a normal Ninja Storm game, except evolve, except just make it keep evolving. But no, they want to change the thing and turn it into something. It's actually, stupid. kind of fun to play. I'm not gonna lie. So it's fun to play. But the concept is stupid. Uh, there's a demo on PlayStation Network. Download uh, it. It's fine. Working. Fine. Still not gonna buy it. <laughs> It's fine. There's a demo you can play at least to get a better idea. Anyway, but that's enough for E3. Uh, we're we hope you all enjoyed 
the first episode of the new revived Breakfast with Lazy Gaming, guys. Good lord, is this gonna be good lord, is this long? <laughs> yeah. And tune in Have next fun with week. that. I'm not doing it this year. Ha! <laughs> oh, but, oh, Jack, trust me, I'm going to be condensing a lot of this. A lot of this. But, yeah. uh, yeah. And, you know, we hope to that you all enjoy our series. And we'll be back with more gaming news, anime news, manga news, weeb news, Comic us, news. Us news. news yeah, of everything news. news. News of culture and science. I will tell you about every interesting booger I find in my nose. We can't forget on. the science. <sighs> yeah, Jack and his boring science. Julian will announce what he put up his ass this week. What? No! <laughs> but no, Scott, like, like, like uh, agreed, we, can, we can't have science. Boob science. Yes, yes, culture, culture, not yes. culture. That is not <laughs> culture. I'd rather Jacques sit. I'd rather listen to Jacques talk about Quantum Leap all day. What Quantum Leap? I'll talk about that show. It was a great show. Mm-hmm. Like, right, Jacques? Uh, had, had a decent I hate, ending. I hate you, Julian. <laughs> it's but, much uh, better that show Quantum. Me- it's much better that show Quantum Mechanics. That show's lame. Yeah, that show is lame. Not a Peace. fucking show. <laughs> Are you the sure? Property of love. No. Bye everybody! Thanks for watching Lazy Gaming, guys. Aren't you? Are you sure? I thought it was a. Th- isn't it theoretical? <laughs> no, it's not it's theoretical. Like the, no, it's like no, the it's guy the- Schrodinger's pet cat. No, yep. no, it's not theoretical, Julian. What, what? What did someone do to their pet cat? Um, he did something to his 100%. pet cat. Did he do the peanut butter trick? Because that's terrible. I don't think cats are supposed to eat peanut no. butter. No. No, they'd be all bristly. I, mean, I, I think there's uh, something else wrong with that, Julian. Not just. What? But I think that should be everything for everyone tonight. Goodbye, everyone. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Enjoy your breakfast.